dollars a month because the song's been ca- uh, been being played on a number of different versions of it. Yeah, it's right. Happy Birthday. We know. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my old friend. Yeah. <laughs> but he's seriously. He's making. He's getting big bucks. Yeah, but that's, I mean, he's made two grand on your birthdays alone. Yeah. <laughs> But that's like the main, the songwriters making money because it's been sold, and, and then the recording and artist makes less. Well, it depends yeah. on, it depends on where it's being played, though. Too, like like Spotify. That's why a lot of the artists are taking their songs off of Spotify. They only pay point uh, zero 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 <laughs> three why am I cents for every month? spin, and that's it. Because you bought into the scam. <laughs> because you need protection for ASCAP and BMI and those guys. Those are the guys who are paying my friend. ASCAP. Is, BMI hasn't paid me any money. Well, ASCAP is. Are you a part of them now? Yeah, yeah. My, all my all my songs are on BMI. Maybe we should play a song of yours tonight and see if they give you money for it. Yeah. I, <laughs> seriously, if I'm yeah. paying for it. I want to know if he's getting it. Right or wrong? Two hundred percent. Well, I know, I know, I know. It's a station in West Virginia, a station in Houston. Both have been playing my songs and. And they've been playing them on uh, uh, WZBG in Torrington and WP, uh, P, uh, APJ in Torrington. I haven't gotten anything from BMI for that. Yeah, but you know what? Those are commercial stations. That's what. Yeah. Because if I played your song at UConn, we don't pay royalties. I mean, they do pay royalties, but they don't. We have to. We have. To, what we have to do is, as DJs, we have to take it and put it in. Put it into a thing called Spinatron, and then Spinatron t- tallies it up at the end of the month. And then they send it to ASCAP and BMI. But I think because they're non-commercial, they don't pay as much as, like, regular radio stations. Mm. Which, I don't know why Anderson is. I mean, I can't really bitch because 80 bucks a month isn't really that much. To, Not so compared I, to if you were paying both of those organizations, which right. that right. you'd be paying a lot more. Right. Mm-hmm. So I can't really bitch. I could, though, because of the way it happened. But, uh, you know, I can't really bitch. So whatever. So now I have the power of going. And Jamie just brought the hard drive, so. Now I have, because the talk is going good, but, um, like, I'll listen to Howard uh, some nights, and it's all talk all day, so I'm like, you know, maybe it might be too much, too overwhelming, so we're going to try to change, like, 12 hours of it to but music. It's, it's going to be a different audience. Right, it'll be a different audience, oh, yeah. too, and then okay. we'll do the, we'll do, we're going to make, like, promos of what you missed on Tuesday and what's coming up, on, and Jamie's going to have a show, so. Boom. It's really it's now that we're the wedding and everything's out of the way. Now the only obstacle is this training. So, but now that the, everything's out of the way, we can do it. So I've got somebody for the twenty fifth, also. Not uh, for the twenty fifth. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's, That's cool. Uh, Steph uh, Serenita. She's a girl. Yeah. Okay. A very attractive young lady. How old is she? Uh, twenty. Okay. No, thirty something. Right. Thirty she, something. That's not young. She's kind of. <laughs> what the fuck? You look like you're ready to throw up in your mouth. <laughs> That's not young. She's not Kayla. Come on. Jeez, true. Peter. This is true. She's not Kayla. When is her birthday? Uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking creepy, man. <laughs> hey, look. It's, it's scenery as far as I'm concerned. So to go back on the issue with the toilet paper, it happened to me at Santos on Saturday. <laughs> And I didn't realize my finger had gone through. I thought it went through, but it didn't, like, catch any feces. <laughs> so all night Saturday, I'm walking around, I guess, with shit in the corner of my fingernails. <laughs> so Sunday, I wake up, we go to eat Hooters, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, Jesus. I lick my finger. I go, I think I still have duty on my <laughs> Oh, that was like a whole oh, bit oh, I used boy. to do. That was a whole bit I used to do I'm when I did stand up. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, it's serious. Wow. Didn't I say that to you? Yeah. I said, babe, I, I yeah, don't think that's... So you didn't wash your hands you wash from your when hands you shit. No, I wash, but I don't wash in between the crack. I don't scrub. I wash my hands, but I don't scrub. <laughs> Who scrubs? You scrub? Well, you wash, like... Yeah, but you're washing here to do... But you're, you're talking know. about Saturday uh, through the half-day Sunday. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he's talking about, like, under his nail. Yeah, but still, Saturday through Sunday. Like, first off, no whites. You clean your, light, your nails every day? No, but I have no whites. Uh, that's, like, a rule so that we don't get shit trapped in there. But I just, I wash my hands more than just because I took a shit. Like, I randomly <laughs> wash my hands. <laughs> like, what? It happens. What do you want me to do? How, yeah. do you, how do you pick your nose effectively if you have absolutely no fingernails? And do you roll? 
pick and roll? What do you mean? No. You don't pick and roll? No, my <laughs> deviated septum allows me to like push it to one side and fucking snot rocket it. Snot <laughs> rocket. That's even worse. Do you pull and roll? That's gross. Huh? Do you pull and roll? Uh, yeah. Pull, roll. I do whatever I have to do. <laughs> I do whatever I have I like have it to when do. it comes out really wet and then you roll it to a really hard one. Did you ever get one that felt like something snapped in the back of your head, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden everything cleared up, and you're like, "Oh my God, life is good again." <laughs> like I can run. Yeah. It's like, man, why didn't I do that an hour ago? I, I always love those ones where you blow your nose, and you can see like half your cartilage come with it, <laughs> and you're like, oh, "I gotta get breathe." Oh my God, I didn't have a sinus infection. That happens twice a year for me. Does it? <laughs> That's about it. That's crazy. It's the little thing. Unless I take lots of pills, and I don't like taking pills, so. Cocaine's a hell of <laughs> Twice a drug. A year. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that, that deviated a few septums. That, yeah, that yeah, buddy. Wasn't that Richard Pryor that said that? No, Dave Chappelle. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. That's the. That's. Well, it was, uh... Well, I, th- I thought. Well, I mean, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, but it was, it was Dave Rick Chappelle. James, right? It was the Rick James segment with Dave That's Chappelle. Right. That's right. Yeah. Where he's talking with Charlie Murphy. Yeah. Bitch, show Charlie Murphy your titties. <laughs> You're black, you're black, Charlie Murphy. Yeah. Hey, oh. Yeah. Oh. I didn't that, wipe my feet on Charlie one, Murphy's one of the couch. Funniest, one of the funniest bits, one of the funniest sketch comedies ever ever written. It's so good. Ever written. Uh, absolutely. And it's funny because now he's he's all jacked up, so now he feels all tough that he can talk shit about like Key and Peele and all these other people because they're ripping off on him because he decided to go crazy and go to Africa. So everybody else after him for black sketch comedy is ripping off of Dave Chappelle at the moment. That's the big thing in the comedy world right now. I think it was – well, he well, left because uh, the pressure was ridiculous. I mean, and they wouldn't let him do creative – they didn't give him the creative rights to the show either. So it was like one of those things where it's like – I think it was like fifty million at the time they gave him to do Chappelle show for the third season, and it's like he's funny, but he was like, "My fifty million dollars funny." And then when they took away his creative rights, he was kind of like, "All right, I'm done." Like I, he just walked away. That's Which I get. stupid. But in a way, though, I mean, would you want to be responsible for like fifty million dollars worth of funny when you couldn't have veto power or say and everything? Then you end up doing Elvis movies, you know. Exactly. And Elvis ended up doing all those movies because he gave all that away, and then and then it was just like fifty movies of shit. Yeah, and he was clearly depressed. Just ate himself and did whatever drug to like right. go through the motions of hey. Listen, if someone gave me fifty million reasons to be funny, I think I would. Well, right. but it's not like he was broke though. It's a different. It's a different thing. It's you like you can never have made... that much money when you reach that plateau, Dennis. Trust me. But his yeah. thing, his thing was he they they were telling him what he could and couldn't do and he his problem was as he said in his autobiography was a bunch of white guys are telling me what's funny and what's not funny and I can't fucking control my own show anymore yeah. but because of the money he was always like that like in movies <coughs> and stuff they they would like be like hey you got to wear a dress because all the black comics wear a dress and it's funny like from Martin Lawrence so it's like everybody like oh you got to wear this dress he's like no and they're like wear the dress it'll be hilarious he's like no because I'm funnier than that. Yeah, and like it's one of those things. Like I don't know. It's like could he have just put the dress on like Jamie Fox and did the skit and been hilarious? He could have, but I don't know. I think there's some principle to it. So there's no principles in comedy. <laughs> just vice principles <laughs> and guidance. <laughs> Police officers. Yeah, I'd put a dress on. Oh, yeah, it'd be hilarious. I mean, I haven't done it yet for, you know, laughs, but if I had to, yeah, I'd put a dress on in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah. I but it's just, Ch- it's just Chappelle, you know what I mean? Like, that's just how he is. You would put a dress on? Pretty well, sad. yeah, because, I mean, he lived on a farm in the middle of fucking nowhere because, like, that he hates that disconnect from society. So he gets to a point where he's the pinnacle of, co- of comedy and instead walks is away. Is anybody famous and rich ever fucking happy? No, it doesn't seem that way. What is that? Fred Willard. Millers. Fred Willard seems pony, like the pony happiest pack. guy. Is that ever. the fucking champagne of beers over there? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, they're funny. little shooters of the champagne of beers. You've never seen a Miller? Uh, the pony, I've pony. seen a Miller. I've never seen a fucking baby Miller. <laughs> oh, oh, Miller. Oh, po- pony pack. They used to be huge. Man. Really? That's, That's all Grandpa yeah. used to drink, man. Yeah. Okay. They, used to, yes, they used to come in an eight pack. Now they only come in a six pack. Now they only come in a six. It's like it's like three beers. Yeah, well, I'm over here with 16s of fucking Bud which is like barely one. They don't get warm. <laughs> no, you finish them up way before they. <laughs> They're empty before they get warm. <laughs> but Peter, to answer your question, Tom Hanks, dude, the guy's like so happy. It's ridiculous. For wearing a dress, he's rich. No, I'm saying he's rich and got famous, and he he 
It doesn't bother him. Bill Murray. It doesn't yeah, bother him. It doesn't yeah. bother him. Yeah, he's like super chill. I he guess it's out there. Marriage. Oh. Yeah, but so does Chappelle, right? He didn't get divorced, did he? Oh no, no, no. Yeah, but I'm saying like yeah, everyone's he got walked their away. Issues. Yeah, but he walked away. Yeah, yeah. but he walked I mean, away and then I came mean, back. Hank. And... Hank. Hank comes back going. whenever he feels like doing something, when he gets a good script. Yeah, Tom I'm Hanks the captain good, now. Tom, yeah, I'm not yeah. interested in Tom Hanks uh, can say no now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was reading this thing about, like, all the movies Jack Nicholson turned down, and it's like, when you get to a point, you could just say fuck you to everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like, like uh, he got offered a part in something, and he was just like, I want to tell you something. Today, I just read a book, and I went to bed. He's like, I don't want to do a movie. He's like, no. <laughs> he just tells everyone that. He's just like, no. He's just like, no, because I'm retired now. He made more money than he needs to. Like, he's got more money where he could live three times over at the lifestyle that he's living now. And he just, like, doesn't give a shit. So he's just like, everyone's like, hey, we got this perfect script. You can win an Academy Award type thing. He's like, I don't give a shit. Like, I've won three. I'm done. <laughs> well, then you got De Niro. <laughs> who will basically take any part now because he just wants to keep working, even shitty parts. It's like he doesn't even make good movies anymore. But, you know, it's like I, I need to keep working. I'll make money at it. You know, I, I... Yeah, but he doesn't need the money. No. Yeah. But, but yeah, you, yeah, think, you, know you think that he would have more um... – I mean, the Meet the Fockers franchise, is, he made, like, so much money off of that piece of shit. Right, like... right. And it was not what we would think. He is. just fucked up his whole fucking career the other day. Oh, yeah. Why, what happened the other day? Oh, yeah. Why was it? His, his rant. He was ranting about Trump, and oh. then they found out that he did the same thing. Did George Takei did the same thing. He's like, I yeah. can't believe well, Trump. Cares? Wait, De George Takei. not running for president. Yeah, I mean, they're yeah. not running De Niro's for president. not yeah. running for president. Who not gives a fuck? But then why should they give a fuck about Trump? Because he's running for president. he's running for president. Yeah, yep. but he's not like he's, well, all right, so. Whatever he did five years ago shouldn't affect what he I'm does. I'm saying, like, yes, I'll watch Robert De Niro's movies, but I won't let him babysit my children. It still reflects who he thinks he <laughs> like, is. Huh? It still reflects who he thinks he is. Wait, Wait George Takei grabbed a woman by the pussy? No, oh, cock. No. <laughs> but he was making a statement, too, and Miley Cyrus said, I won't vote for, him, vote for him because he degrades women, and there's a picture of her riding a fucking huge dildo on a leotard. Oh, so, on, on stage. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> Really? Yeah, I think Come before on. you start getting yeah. all righteous, man. Seriously. It's like, what? what not anymore. Not really? in this election. There is no thinking. Again, just shoot your mouth off. Yeah. This what freedom of what expression. responsibility does Miley Cyrus have? Oh, the, the, Absolutely not. The growth what of children. responsibility does the President of the United States have? But the, Miley, A little bit more. But Miley does, too. She has the growth of children. The people follow but, her. People, but right, she's an is, idol. Well, people look up to her. The, yes. the fact of the matter is that's the parents' problem. If they're letting kids idolize somebody that they don't even know. It's called YouTube and the kids. She's just trying to redefine her career by by, by She's doing being what Britney a, did. But yeah, Britney and I, they're all following a little the Donnie Lear did that a little too. more than that, but, but, she's but not hotter than Britney. When they all started out, it was like you can't get me and then all, all of a sudden they pop that cork and everything's like, Oh shit like and just as like the dirty video mm -hmm. and like Every female star that starts out real young has that, like, innocent phase, and then they just go to, like, full-out whore. It's just, <laughs> yeah. well, it's just now she has to one-up everybody over the last 30 years. Like, Madonna did that shit, but now it's like you have to really... Well, that's why she's getting her ass touched and finger blasted on stage. That's, like, the latest thing that just came she, out about she had, Miley. She has to outdo 30 Is she years really? of shock. Yeah, there's memes of it all over. Like, she's letting them touch her cooter and fucking her ass and everything right there on front, front row. And then going out there and being like, Trump, you're a total scumbag for grabbing that poon on. Like, right, but anyone that's voting because of what Miley Cyrus said shouldn't vote. Oh, well, but <laughs> all of all of America, like yeah, all of right. the entertainment industry is one or the other, and everybody's like trying to scream louder than the other about why they both fucking should suck and drop out. On but, that note, let's uh, listen to Bob's yeah. song okay. of the week. Oh, we got this one. This is a new guitar, so let me... Oh, Matt, today. You getting anything? Yeah. Are you? Yeah, aren't you? Turn his air I don't know. You're not getting nothing. I, I, I hear the guitar. Okay, yeah. Because it's coming through my bones. Mm -hmm. You don't hear it up here? It's kind of like a gas pedal on a car. Maybe it needs to be turned up Can a you hear bit. your talking? I can hear no. it. You can't hear your talking either? Super loud. What? You can't hear yourself talking either? No. Check I, your plug. <laughs> I, I, I can hear myself. Check your plug. Is this how we found out Bob's death? That's Whoa. insane. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn about. that down a little bit. This whole time you couldn't hear? I could hear. It just wasn't all, all that loud. Okay. Is it me? Is that good? 
what you need, Buff. show <laughs> does it get worse like that yeah. oh yeah right. i've actually had rivers running down the middle of my glasses <laughs> rivers run through them <laughs> rivers run deep in bob's eyes yes very nice when did you write that today uh, i finished it at uh 5 30 <laughs> <laughs> told you i was having a hard time with it you had uh, a hard weekend didn't you uh now this whole next a uh, couple of months are a bitch. Oh, yeah. We talked about uh, that. Can, uh, is it turned down? Oh, sorry. Yep. Uh, Fucking Internet Explorer, dude. I can't stand it. Mm -hmm. What? I got to go buy an Apple. What's up with Mozilla? Uh, I don't know. Chrome sucks. Chrome is designed for Chromebook and Chromebook only. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I love Mozilla. Yeah, I love Foxfire. Yeah, like, maybe I'll do that. Once you, when, as long as you have like a good, uh, what's that, like a uh, um, internet blocker, pop-up blocker, yeah, and you, you yeah. set everything up correctly, well, it's good to go. I mean, the, the Mozilla blocker is on all the time. Yep. You have to go turn it down or, or scale it back, whatever. It's said. really good. I just don't like how Chrome like tracks everything. Like Google tracks fucking everything. It just, Explorer just freezes all the time. Yeah, well. Again, let's go back to it's 2016. Can we get shit to fucking work right? Well, and again, that's that's the default system. 
Yeah, why? Every computer? Well, because it's from Microsoft. It's, it's so. Microsoft. Yeah. Okay, so that's why the first thing I do when I when I get a new computer, I just got one, is I go load Foxfire. Yep. And I disable oh, yeah. uh, Firefox. Explorer. Fire, Mozilla Firefox. Yep. Yeah. You bought a new Firefox. computer? Was it a Commodore 64? Or no, no, no. I was watching this fucking show on Netflix that was like the uh, world's scariest ghost things and they kept showing all these videos of these guys and they were like oh he's examining the evidence and it's on like this fucking PC with like the monitor the size of the TV we have there with a keyboard and it's from 1986 and it's like a brand new show and they just keep showing this old stuff and it's like nah, this is why nobody takes paranormal investigation seriously that's right <laughs> the lack of funding is, a, is abysmal <laughs> they need an upgrade get some grants out there we need to study the ghosts that's it they need to come to my house the ghosts? What are they no, going to do there? They, they, well, I've got ghosts in the house. No, you, let's you do an investigation. I'll come. I got all the tools. I got everything. I did an investigation at Eastern State Penitentiary. I've done a bunch. I just did one in my house a couple weeks ago. Really? I do. <laughs> I've got a dead cat running around. <laughs> my cat died in the middle of my living room, and then you still hear, like, the pawing at the door. You hear, like, the, uh, I call it, like, the jungle run through the That's house. That's a whole new element. Ghosts. Animal ghosts. Yeah, that's not no, that's I, not new. That's been like the last five years. I had I like, had one. Yeah, I that's like the last five place. years. That's that's where we're headed now. With Dude, that's the raccoon. No, not even. No, listen, my my cat died, and then we would have visitors over, and they would be like, "Oh, how's your cat doing?" I just saw your cat, and we're like, "What what, is, what are you talking about? My cat died like two months ago." Everybody was seeing my cat. It sounds like I think they were talking about your vagina. It no, sounds no, like no. the worst <laughs> sequel to Ghostbusters, where they're just exterminators for ghosts. For ghost pets, <laughs> I've seen. That. We got some dead rats. We got to take care of. Yeah, they I'm weren't honored. talking about your cat. Yet. Oh, they were. Yeah, they were. <laughs> just the wrong one. No, seriously, I'm not even kidding. Grab her by the ghost pussy. cat. Uh-huh. <laughs> And a hush falls over the crowd. <laughs> I was just when you said pussy, I started thinking about it. Bob, lost, uh, so. Bob, do you want to take over and speak to Howie? Seems how you're on each other's level. What? Would you like to interview Howie here? Well, I mean, okay. Yeah, be a sport. Uh, huh? Be a sport. Let him catch his breath. Okay, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, he needs just, to wipe his bra off. Just throw it at me. Glasses the off. Show. I know, he's... No, no warning or that. Howie has a new house. How is your new house going? Oh, it's, uh, a lot of work. A lot of work. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, a lot of work. The We've pictures been, I'm look good. I'm in the middle good. of painting, painting all the trim right now. It was, it's a brick house, and all the trim, it's a brick. all the trim around, the, all the windows, all the trim, uh, what? everything was all you know, the, the what, what was not brick was all this dark brown. Yeah, it's brick and brown, real depressing. So uh, we changed it. Is all that over seems to like white. the norm for the Torrington area, isn't it? It's brick yeah, and brown. Brick and brown. That was popular back back uh, years ago. But for that part of the state or something, yeah, so interior or exterior? Exterior. 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 I, yeah. I believe it's actually an actual color you could get at Sherwin Williams now. Yeah. Torrington Brown. Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Torrington Brick Brown. Yeah. Not just yeah. heroin anymore. Just to bring out the drab in it. Well, I'll see yeah. you later. <laughs> but it, it, it's depressing. You know, so we, we really it brighten it up now. And just, we're doing all white, all white trim. So I'm, I'm been doing. Even, Sounds like my even the gutters were brown. White trim. Yeah. And I had to paint all the gutters because they're, they're old. The, the gutters were old steel. They're not aluminum. They're steel gutters. And uh, you know you're in Torrington ones? when you see that shit. The round ones, or are they this the uh, for early square? Ones? If the gutters come down, you yeah, better the, not like be normal, under. The normal gutters, but they're you know they're um, but they're steel. Because when they first came out with steel gutters, can't hear you about. When they first came out with Thank steel you. gutters, they were like this. Only they were round. Gone. Yeah, yeah. No, these okay. were normal. A nor- oh, okay. Yeah, regular. Yeah. So How long has it been here? But I had to replace all the gutters in the back of the house because they were rusted through. Because yeah. they wow. the house had been sitting. For, it was a short sale. The house had been sitting for a couple of years, empty. So all the, ba- the, the, the gutters in the back in were so were full of uh, pine, pine you know what? You know what? I'm I'm I'm, re- right I'm already sick of your gutter talk. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the gutter all the time. Uh, oh, I, I feel that like that was rude. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you were. Well, you're a. That's rude. Well, I had to say. Well, it. I think he's saying get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> get I know, your he's mind trying to make it funny. It. But we added a uh, uh, screened in the side porch of the, when we first we bought the house. And the side porch was just a, a cement slab, and there was a drop of about four or five feet down with no railings or anything. And so wow. I, I closed it all in and uh, put uh, put uh, screened it all in. Now, so I'm still in the middle. Of, I still got to do all the trim work on it and everything. But well, the pictures cool. look good that oh, I see on on Facebook. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's coming. It's, it's, it's a now, con- the stress of work. this incident has given me walking nightmares, street terrors, diabetes, and hysterical pregnancy. <laughs> really? Any house will do that to you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's just the house syndrome. <laughs> well, right. well, now I'm, well, now I'm house broke, though. So. Any new music? <laughs> <laughs> Any new music since we last seen you? No, I haven't had time. I've been too, too busy working on the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, houses suck. Yeah. They suck. I, I they can't wait to get suck. this stuff done. I might at least get the uh, the exterior, uh, the front of the house done b- before before it starts getting real cold. <laughs> stop. What you're doing, just stop. Yeah. <laughs> my, my advice to you is sit on it till next spring. No, nope. I'll be painting tomorrow morning, so. No. What do you going? mean? As soon as it warms up. Hey. Yeah. And do, you, do you have a date to get married yet? I know you're engaged. No, no, now. we haven't yet. We haven't yet. We're waiting for, for the adoption. Uh, Karen will be have, uh, officially adopting the kids. They're, they're shooting for National Adoption Day. I think it's November 9th or something like oh, that. Oh, nice. And uh, so then she'll have the kids adopted, her grandchildren. And... Um, once that's done, then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about where well, we're you, you just bought a new old house you got to fix up, and you're adopting children. Yeah. Four or five <laughs> years old. And he's getting nuts? married in a little while. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Can I talk you out of any of that? No. No, I can't, huh? No. This is why you sing it's the blues. Good answer. This is why you sing the blues. <laughs> He'll have lots of new material coming up after. Yes, yeah. there is. No, I, no, I was, I You're going to have, have a middle. lot of suicide material have, pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> I have a couple of uh, a couple of songs in the middle. I've been in the, like, in the process of, but I haven't finished them, though. A couple of stuff, so. Yeah, I got a play that I've been working on for three years. You want to help me finish it? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, too, damn it. It's called Torrington Brown. <laughs> it has to do with the uh, water waste department. It actually yeah. is called Torrington Brown. <laughs> the color or yeah. the play? Whatever. The play, yeah. <laughs> That's what my heroine yeah, I, I think talks. I think all uh, singer-songwriters have songs in the works. I've oh, got, yeah. like, three of them that I just can't quite get over the hump <laughs> yeah yeah well you know what the best thing is that when most of my songs i'll i'll i'll, uh, I'll get the song the, the the basic song done and then when i get in the studio then we we we, uh, we 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 change the arrangement on it yeah and it, and, it, and the song turns out almost completely different than the way i originally well, wrote you it. Intended it. Yeah. yeah 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 it's, it takes on its own life oh yeah and then every time you perform it it's going to be a little different uh, each time a little different yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, it's a disease. It's called evolution. <laughs> it's called real music. Yeah. That's right. It's like what doesn't happen in the music industry anymore today. Like. Yeah, live music is a, yeah. well, Hey, I'm really excited. I've gotten in the door at Cafe Nine, so. Nice. <laughs> I'm doing a show on the uh, sept- uh, November 21st. Is it like a tale from the crypt type of thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Where's this cafe? Nice. Where's this cafe? <laughs> in New Haven. 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 You got New the Haven. manners yeah. to say hello first? Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hello. Ooh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's a soundboard? What the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, that's a cool that's one. Right? Right? Yeah. No wonder why you're going 10, 15 minutes, Pete. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so that was me. <laughs> Everyone leave while I interview Michael. (laughs) God bless you. You're an angel. (laughs) (laughs) Internet's acting real screwy today, but if I don't touch nothing, it still works. I have limited things today. I'm not ignoring you. I'm just just working. Something wrong with it today, yeah. Is that why you wanted me to... (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah, 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 Thank obviously. God Ricky's here. <laughs> Who would have thought six months ago we would have said that? Unless the stupid computer needs another fucking update. I, I try. They always do. are doing great. It's ridiculous when they do that update bullshit. Can we do this whole show without the internet? It, it helps I see people on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. We'll just send out, like, cassette recordings to all of the people. Yeah. Cassette. Handwritten cards. <laughs> handwritten cards. Cassette yeah. recordings. We're going to have a new way of doing podcasts. We're going to put them on cassette. We're going to put them on cassette and mail them. <laughs> mail, them. mail them. Sign mail them. up to our mailing list. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to receive weekly. And well, a I'll be number two here. pencil. Yes. We'll all be sitting here licking stamps, sending them out. <laughs> I just picture everyone under 30 going like, what am I what supposed to do with this? <laughs> yeah. What is a cassette? Yeah. Is this something for ass play? What is this? <laughs> Mom, I need your car. 
Mom, I think this is for flossing your teeth. <laughs> well, Mom, I, Dad's I, uh, buying porn again. I saw, I saw a post on uh, on Facebook uh, the other day where uh, a mechanic posted a picture of of the uh, the car radio with the um, with a cassette player in it, and the kid comes up to him. And he said, he said, uh, he said the uh, uh, my iPhone plug won't work. It keeps break scratching my screen on my phone. You know. <laughs> 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 I just got rid of all my cassettes. I'm pretty what? upset about Why? it. Why? Because we don't. We moved into a really small place and I didn't have room. Oh, I would have loaned you. I have a cassette to MP3, so you plug it into your computer and it records. So like all my old mixes from like the 90s and stuff when I started were on cassette. So I transferred them all over to MP3. I had a huge so. bin of cassettes that I just got rid of. Oh. Oh. So much money and time. And That's work. how I feel when I go to my storage unit and I see Copy all my VHS. Him. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Even DVDs, I feel like I never watch anymore. Not anymore. Not so easy to just buy it on Amazon and just have it, or download it and watch. get letters from Cox. Listen, if you could bring those in, I I don't have anything right now. Like I said, I got VHS and DVDs. So any old porn DVDs, throw them my way. Whoa, I got some good. I got some good. I actually have so many VHSs that are pretty dope. Get some private parts. Remember that movie? The movie's yeah. dope. Yeah, I'll, I'll take anything. The Howard you got. one, yeah. The I'll Howard take old one. home. Video. I don't care. Yeah, but the best is just go to like any uh, what, like pawn shop, and then like they have tons of shit that you could just walk in and p- walk out with, and they deal with you. So, I've gotten a lot of old VHSs for absolutely no reason than to just say I own the VHS on it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> They're all Blockbuster went out of business, and everybody went crazy because bought all the Blockbuster tapes. So you see those, and what was the other one? Hollywood Video. So oh, yeah. you, all those tapes are in porn shops. Pawn, not porn oh. shops, all over the state, like. That's pawn porn. Uh, they don't sell porn, though. I've asked, and I'm like, come on, you got to have a backroom collection. People have to try and trade in porn. And they're like, no, no. I was like, I mean, I still have mine from 1993. It's but. just amazing because porn was so hard to get to at one time when you were, like, you know, oh, yeah. a kid. The you're blockbuster like, <laughs> out I mean, in uh, Illinois had a back room with porn. Yeah, the, the Hollywood yeah, video yeah, used yeah, to have, yeah, like, yeah. these, like, cowboys go doors. through the curtain, man. You know, it's like, they go through the curtain, look for the glory hole. It's like, wait a second. Yeah. What kind of place is this? sat next to the curtain and wouldn't let anybody in. You had to show your idea. My first job, I worked at a porn, at a, a video store, <laughs> and like we used to take the porn and I used to make copies of it and then sell it at school, and that's like what. Oh I used my to... god, dude, that's awesome! Oh my that god, awesome. it's like Crocodile Blondie, like some crazy <laughs> Nina Hartley's man, like Shaving seventy. Shaving Ryan's private. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was the best. That was, that was that's that was my hustle in high school. Right on. Selling porn on VHS. <laughs> if you gave me a good enough tape, I could get at least two or three of them. It cost more, yeah. but. <laughs> See, I, I used to have the uh, Spice Channel. We had a hot box, so I used to just like. People would give me like a blank VHS and they'd give me like 20 bucks. And I would just wait till my parents went to bed, put it on the Spice Channel, recorded with the TV off, <laughs> and they'd get like six hours of whatever porn was on. <laughs> and then, like, I'd wake up before my parents switch, like, just take it out, and she, you know, it would just be over. But apparently, like, one night I did that, and like, and they woke up, and <laughs> you know, my dad just started <laughs> chain, like, watching, he turned on the TV and watched porn for like. A good like twenty minutes, and then change the channel. Yeah, he, got, he had to get so his jersey. Because like, <laughs> <right. laughs> like clearly someone went in there, turned the channel, and then was like, "I'm gonna go back." And like went back. <laughs> the, old, the old man had a twenty minute jerk going. It was it was pretty funny. Thanks, Dad. Well, there was uh, you someone had to did give the, him a refund, huh? Some local comic <laughs> has this great bit about how uh, how like you know there, there's no like the generation now, the young kids now won't uh, inherit their father's taste in porn. Because they won't be able to, they, they can just get it, anything right. they want. They right. can explore all these crazy things. Whereas, like, when you were a kid, you were like, well, if your dad had a porn from the 70s, you were into 70s porn. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, you knew exactly where to leave it. You knew exactly, like. Well, that's what, when they were talking about favorite smells once, I was like, I'd love the smell. I'd like to have, like, a cologne, the smell of my basement dad's playboys because they had this distinct smell and then when he passed away <laughs> i inherited them and that's the first thing i did was crack open that tote and take that smell and it was like oh 13 years old in the basement oh. <laughs> it was just amazing so like i feel that though uh, like that is yeah smells bring you back don't it's they? it smells, they do yeah. and then all those old playboys man there was so much bush so like, like did your dad's playboy smell like his cum or? no no like he, 
I don't know. It's like he collected them. Like seriously, that was a thing to do in the. Back I, I'm just saying. I'm not. No, sure there was no pages. There was no why. pages stuck how. together. Just a musty basementy smell. I don't know what to say about it. Yeah, right. No, I did not smell my dad's cum. I'm just saying. We, Thank we, you. We went, we went over that discussion. I think he last night. Smells like bleach. Smell or it. No, yes. <laughs> Scrape it off like the bleach. pages. We had a bleach thing going last week about. Yes. There was a thorough discussion on the smell of semen. Yeah, that was. We seem to have a regurgitating cycle of things we talk about. And it's all <laughs> needs to be regurgitated. <laughs> yes. Every bit. Oh, you want to do a song before we go to break? Sure. Right. You never ask me that. <laughs> I can't get shit to do. You want my own? Yeah, please. All right. Figure this shit out. Ladies and gentlemen, James Brown. <laughs> <laughs> California. Mmm. Why was there so much bush in the 70s? Old people? Anyone? Lazy. They just didn't think about Yeah, there was didn't think about shaving that. It's like, like no. there was a time where it was not no one something that you did. But there was really? a time where no one thought to cut the foreskin either. It was just like that's how it was. Like that's just huh. how my dick was. I don't understand cuz Jewish like, people hey, have been around forever. This. So like <laughs> uh, I don't know. Not they were the, the first. first. They were the first. They were the chosen. They still are. Yeah. They just had theirs burnt off from the oven. That's all. Are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> the old steel bridge in lookout bridge. The general store and the river show. Weeping well with the tires swing So long ago I wonder where you've been Way back when Pleasant Valley summer Pleasant Valley friends Walking down by the river was no end. Sandcliff Cove, the people's forest. Black bears running across the road. Walking up along the dam. I love to come here anytime I can. Way back when Pleasant Valley summer Pleasant Valley friends Walking down by the river Wish there was no end Now I know I can't go back Treasured memories can't keep track when I ride along the river, think about the stories left undone. Pleasant Valley summer, Pleasant Valley friends, walking down by the river, which there was no end. Pleasant Valley summer, Pleasant Valley friends. Walking down by the river Wish there was no end Very nice. Awesome. Hey, thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Did you put some much. drums to that or oh, something? Yeah. Yeah. From the last time you were here? Well, yeah. Uh, no, I've, the, the drums were around the, 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 on the CD. They got the full band on the CD. But oh, okay. I'm bringing my harmonica next time. <laughs> Are you really? You like that? No, I, the, when I play harmonica, it sounds like I'm on a whaling ship. I sound terrible. <laughs> I just don't have the ear for music. It's the girls you hang around with. No, it's because I oh, suck at playing. Oh, oh, a whaling ship. Yeah. Oh, my God. Right. Let's not talk about the girls I hang out with. <laughs> they get mad at me. All right, that works. Cookies.
All right, we're going to take a little break, pay some bills, and we'll be right back. Got some technical difficulties we're going to work out. We'll be right back. j m Automotive in Nottingham, Connecticut has been in business for 28 years. They stock over 450 quality pre-owned cars. They have the highest quality cars with haggle-free price. Complete financing for all credit scores. They take all traders. They are rated with the Better Business Bureau Triple A. They were voted CTI ADA Quality Dealer of the Year. Visit j Automotive.com for cars, picks, videos, and descriptions. j Automotive.com. They're located in Nottingham on 756 and 8. 20 New Haven Road with over 250 cars in the lot. Call them at 203-723-5666. That's 203-723-5666. Also go check them out on New Haven Road and check out their website, jnmautomotive.com. And tell them PPR and send you. How bad that sounded, but you won't get that sound at Hat City Music Productions, located at 536 Federal Road in Brookfield. CEO Chris Litwin takes your music to the next level. If you're tired of those basement recordings, those people that you pay too much money for and have you get out within a half hour, well, you won't have that problem. Hat City Music Productions, once again located at 536 Federal Road in Brookfield. Go check out Hat City Music Productions. You won't be disappointed. Tell them PPRN sent you. Ah, oh, fuck! Ah, oh, fuck! You're listening to PPRN, motherfucker. Hi there, and if you need any kind of work done to your car, you can try De Silva's Auto Body, located in Naugatuck at 275 Rubber Avenue. Serving the Naugatuck Valley community with the highest quality of craftsmanship for 25 years, we pride ourselves in delivering on our promise of extraordinary customer service and product satisfaction. We have recently expanded our business with in-house experts in industry gold standard equipment. So once again, give us a call at De Silva's Auto Body, 203-729-5967. That's 203-729-5967, located in Naugatuck on Rubber Avenue. Once again, the Silva's Auto Body, 203-729-5967. This is Approach Detroit, and you're listening to PPRN Radio. What's going on? This is Brandon from Vail Amaya, and you're listening to PPRN. What's up? This is Mark from Vail Amaya, and you're listening to PPRN. I'd be listening to PPRN.
You are listening to PPRN, motherfucker. Hey, it's Joey Matone, and you're listening to PPRN. Woo! Uh-huh. I if I can do a show chewing Twizzlers. I was going to say we're all like, nah, nah. I don't like the way you Sorry. Yeah, this was the 80s show where we snorted cocaine and move our mouths like this. I'm down for that. Let's do one of those. Look like they're on Twizzlers. What are you doing? We're live. Yeah, let's smell that. I didn't know. No, I lost all that. You didn't have a light. Lost all that material to the ages. I wasn't in know we were on. I need a light. It was my best stuff. Or at least say, hey. We're on the air live. <laughs> yeah, you got to do like a countdown. And we're three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm we're chewing like a bullshit. fucking... Fucking Twizzler? <laughs> yeah, it looks and like we're like, chewing oh. our yeah, curd. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the curd hour. Oh, well, mm. Bring snacks next time. chewing our curd. No, 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 no. Bring the snacks. <laughs> no. Bring the snacks. Well, next week no. is Mike's birthday. Ah. It's your Ooh. birthday next week? Next week's my birthday, but I won't be here, you know. Oh, that's right. Oh, why? <laughs> if, uh, it's the first night of rehearsal for a show I'm doing down oh. there. In the, Usually birthdays are suicidal. The, the fine, the fine city of Waterbury. Well, at least with your birthday, I knew I could have gotten some fucking strippers in here. Uncle Bob was like, "No." Well, hello there. Nobody even asked me. I fucking tagged you in every post I possibly could. I even sent you the link. Told you to pick two. But it didn't take it up. 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 Killing me, small I like that. <laughs> I do. I really like that one. What is this? This is Realm of Darkness. I like. I was trying to figure it out the other night because I was like, "Where did Pete get all these fucking sound chops from?" Realm of Darkness. It's uh, it's web based, but a lot of the times it, it, it produces yeah, but I could, viruses. I could, oh, really? Because I was like, I could definitely hook it up to like Audacity and record a bunch. Yeah, of you shit. could do that too. What you can do is actually stop the page from running, and it'll still play. Oh, okay. So it doesn't catch. It doesn't waste. Did your you ever do prank phone calls with fucking soundboards, like? Yeah, I've done that, but everybody does this. I know everybody I does it. I'm just everybody. reliving my youth. So does anybody want to know about the show I'm doing? <laughs> yeah, Not really. Let's, let's talk let's about it. The guys just ran right over that and kept going. I was just was like, eh, eh. So what's the show? It doesn't matter. So it's over. <laughs> are you acting in it or are you just stagehand? Producing it? I'm acting in it. Oh, okay. Cool. What's your character? What is it? Uh, Dead Elvis. Oh. Ooh. I'm playing Dead Elvis. No, what's the name of the show? Am... Now you're Cologne. Oh, man, the title of the show, I think, I think it's uh, Christmas Carol at Erlene's Diner. Best damn Christmas show ever. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delicious. I believe that's the title. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding oh, okay. you. Do I look like I'm kidding? Do I always look like Dad I'm Elvis. kidding you? And you're playing you know how Elvis. serious I am yeah. all the time. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As far as I know, I haven't seen the script yet. So I'm, I'm, I was told I was told I'm going to be the uh, ghost of Christmas past as dead Elvis. Ooh, and I said, nice. sign me up. Would you like to use my Velvet Elvis for prop? Velvet you Elvis. Said, you should have a Velvet Elvis, I bro. fucking totally agree with you. I've looked for one for years. When I lived in California, I used to go and look Everybody for should it. have one, man. I'm telling you right now. I got actually a mini, and it's one of Elvis in his white suit at the Hawaiian <sighs> concert with tears rolling So down what does this Elvis do? Uh, this Elvis, he talks like this, man. He's going to be haunting somebody. He's going to be a ghost, man. He's going to be an Elvis ghost, dude. Do I have the finger? Mm. You want the finger? You want to go? You want to go knuckle deep on them finger? <laughs> Where is this show again? It's at the Seven Angels Theater. Can we just One go Plank Road. Huh? One Plank Road, Waterbury, Connecticut. It's Ooh. it's a it's a theater. It's been there for twenty six years. It's it's the only equity theater really in in Waterbury. Well, but they do. Equity, but they what do you do, mean? They don't have a loan anymore? No, no, they're union. No, they're paid. It's paid union. union. <laughs> yeah, but they do. They do a couple of community shows a year, and ah, that's that's yeah, where that's, that's where I like to get in, because once you're paid, you like man, to get it in the community. Hmm. You like to get it in the community. Is there any sex scenes? Community property. No, it's a Christmas show for, with kids are in the cast. There's no sex scenes. He's still, you he still didn't answer his question. What? <laughs> what about your ankle bracelet? Are you allowed to be around those children? <laughs> or is like they're different stage signs? Like, how does that work? Now you're playing a They keep us separated. Okay. <laughs> oh, so you play like the boy in the plastic bubble. You just have glass in front of you. <laughs> Where the kids are, so... There's, no, like, there's, there's, like, taped out, there's taped out lines, so he's allowed 25 feet between this one and that one? Well, no, they actually have to put collars on the kids. Oh. 
If they get too now, close to me, they get shocked. Are you allowed back into Chuck E. Cheese after that? <laughs> <laughs> They'll never let me be the clown Have again. No, no, the janitor, the janitor is clean at night. No, you can't do that to Chuck E. Cheese. They fired all their clowns, didn't they? <laughs> I'll never be you a clown again. The only used to creep me out about Chuck E. Cheese is the people that played the instruments. I didn't realize that they were mechanical when I was a kid. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> wow, you people are weird. Slow. You got midgets and shit? I feel bad for bringing my kid, my kid there for a birthday. Each of them. I can't like, believe they're still around. Especially with the fights that go down in the Manchester one that seem to keep popping up online. Oh yeah. yeah, that was Manchester. That was Manchester. Absolutely. Was it inside the Chuck E. Cheese? Oh my God, you haven't seen the video. The video is fucking savage. Yeah, yeah I don't like, get on the internet. This chick gets knocked the fuck through like I don't even know a Street Fighter and a ticket machine. No way. <laughs> like, she was she wow. was a swinging refrigerator. They were white too. <laughs> Not in Manchester. Wait a second. What are you talking about? Th- those go to... That's what Dave and Buster's is for. Oh. Dave and Buster's is where the white girls fight? Yes. <laughs> Dave and Buster's crazy. has security guards, too, on a Friday night. Like, they have, like, three, like, Manchester PD that hang out there because of how bad, like, crime and, and shit is. It's like... It's fucking video people games. Take, people taking their shit serious, huh? Right? Like, you get knocked out for fucking beating somebody in Mario vs. Sonic. You know what, guys? Stop taking yourselves so serious. Yeah. That's my, that's my... Just that's grab the pussy and move on. That's, that's my thing for this week. That's your, the more thing. you know. Yeah. <laughs> Stop <laughs> taking yourself so seriously, kids. <laughs> Bitch. That's how it starts. How does it start? Someone took her tickets? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, it's, it's, it picks up from, like, the third black chick getting punched in the face by that's some dude. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's yeah. always someone's kid that starts a fight, and then the parents get involved. Well, there's a video about a kid that, was, you know those things you used to roll the wooden balls Skeet out? Ball, yeah. yeah. And the kid was going on everybody's aisle, taking their balls and throwing them in the hole. Oh, yeah. And the mother was filming it. Like, How old was the kid? Say six, maybe? I don't think the, he knew what he was the doing. mother was filming it. I, don't, I think a stranger was filming it, but the parents were nowhere around. And what's wrong with that? It must have been in, like, a great neighbor, like Greenwich or something. Well, he also had a gun on him. <laughs> the whole village was watching the kid. Yeah. It was a village moment where everybody had to just give the ball up, let the kid do Isn't it. Isn't that what Chuck E. Cheese is for, though? Because everybody watches your kid. You don't yeah, have but to, huh? he was spitting on people and everything. Yeah, and like, they would, they grabbed, like his head turned completely up, like, around and he growled. Like when he took the ball away, he would like spit on him and yeah. like hit him. And, well, like, that's the reason why Chuck E. Cheese is a great place to bring your kid because they give him a stamp and they can't leave. You can't steal a kid. So just Bull fucking shit. Nobody checks that. Nobody knows what's going on. It's because you're millennials. Any place where someone makes minimum wage, you can get shit out the door. Exactly. That's right. I mean, look at airport security. I mean, you can get anything in pretty easily. So that's what we call Ricky's vagina. Airport security. It, you have to take your shoes off. What? You know, get things in there easily. <laughs> Holy what? Is this part of the vows? Did oh, I? That was a good one. You just made that up, didn't you? That was, that was what? Did you have a basis for that joke already, and then adapted it to Ricky? Wow. Or, or Daisy Daisy. Anybody want to take you after can get, how long this is gonna last? I write like. <laughs> Can, can we have a wedding there, pool and we have our dead pool? Tries. Yeah, it should be like a bet on whether Bob's going to outlive their marriage. No, I felt like an idiot today because I'm, I'm listening to the radio. and um, That would be the backup. The guy goes, That's like the under over. Somebody was talking about sex life and the guy goes, yeah, you know how it is to be a man in a marriage. I'm like, oh, poor Ricky. <laughs> 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 poor Ricky. I felt bad for you today on the way to work. <laughs> Why? Because of you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's guys out there that would die for Ricky, you know? And I'm over here really fucking saying how loose she is. I'm on the opposite <laughs> side. <laughs> You're broadcasting it. Right. I is never said she was echo? loose. You, you did. You said you could fit anything in there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The better part is your whole round table is like, Pete, are you fucking serious right now? I understood that. <laughs> How else do you take maybe that? You maybe you didn't say it the way you wanted to. Uh, that's true. I, I don't even want to be a part of the show anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. Why? I don't know. I'm Just grab her in the pussy. <laughs> now. Nah, fuck. Everybody's leaving. The way he's talking, the way Peter's talking, you could lose your head that way. Right? Like, wow. Well, it's been a long time for you. I think we should just put a live cam on our vagina all the time and see what's going on. Let's go, bro. That thing is growing teeth. It's so mad. It's like a piranha. Vagina cam. That was a good movie. Did you ever see that movie, Teeth? It's all about a chick with fucking teeth in her vagina. You should hear it at night. It screams at me. That sounds ah, like ah, it barks too. <laughs> what? Wow. I thought it was a dog next door. It was Ricky. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Not even Ricky. Her vagina. Yeah, you yeah. realize what you're saying, right? That thing even catches a cold. Just a, it, listen. On, a, on a really quiet night, you can hear it sneeze. If you didn't really want to have sex tonight, that's all you had to say. Is, I don't have, you didn't have to go through all of this. She would have known that. Her vagina would be blue. like, I'm trying not to get laid tonight. It's not Sunday, dude. Jeez, we have a schedule. Uh, he's not even laid. Already. No, he's not laid. Unless I drink so, or I mean, special Let me night. just remind people that that's his schedule, not mine. <laughs> I guess you're wow. not doing the penny in the jar thing for the first year, huh? <laughs> what is that? More like a hot dog in a garbage can. What's oh, the, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, the old The old saw was that every time you screw during the first year of your marriage, you put a penny in the jar. Okay. Does it got water and in it? And every time you screw every year after that, you take the pe- uh, one penny out. And you'll never empty the jar. <laughs> well, she better get a oh, roll. I thought you were going to say. Gonna gonna say for me. We're not filling the jar. Oh, it's a small <laughs> jar. We got one of those little Miller Life bottles that they can put behind these. Is there, yeah, is there the something to be said months? for that, though? I mean, uh, seriously, Bob, is there something to be said for that? I mean, like, the sex stop after a year? No, it's after having kids. No, a couple kids. weeks. After having kids. Yeah. Especially two kids. You too? Uh Oh, Actually, yeah. no. Uh, <laughs> well, we got, yeah, but we got you didn't four, even have a four, 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 four and five, four and five uh, year old in the house. Boy, uh, I tell you, and well, you we, didn't even have them vaginal. Like, imagine if that happened. That's hard. Jesus. We would I alternate years. Okay, I'm so bad. one year we would put, throw the penny in the jar. The next year we would take the penny out. And then we'd start all over again. But you do what? <laughs> the penny. <laughs> throw a penny in, <laughs> take a penny out. Yeah, go ahead. You can. You gotta. You gotta find it eventually. <laughs> Take it out, put it in, take it out. He's got a nice dance in the We rhythm. seriously did that just to see what the fuck was going to happen. You should have put water in it and said, if it lands on tails. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll bang you in the ass and on heads, I would bang you in the mouth. <laughs> in the shot glass, babe, you're getting some. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> that, that wouldn't have worked. There'd be a house. jar full of money for dinner before she got. <laughs> my ex thought she was a rabbit. She was a freak too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, every guy thinks he wants a chick that does nothing but fuck, and until he gets one, and then he's like, "Fuck, I'm done. I can't do this. I need three days to recover." Uh, like, no, I don't know. <laughs> some, uh, <laughs> some tells me Bob's a painter. Uh, hey, man. Good for Bob, fucking at 402 years old. Like. No, no, the thing is, is that the older you get, the 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 the, the more you want it because you're closer to death, and That's the right. less you've had it. So, That's like, right. yeah. you know, it's that like, explains so. everything. So, in about 30 years, you'll be good to go. <laughs> God, you're selfish. When he's got the other foot in the grave, and, and I'll, I'll will him a case of my Niagara. <laughs> wow, that's a heavy flow. That's, that's generic Viagra. I, I, we went over that. It was a couple weeks ago. That's we'll get that up on the blog. Oh, come on. It'll help you pull your head out of the oven. <laughs> Nugenics, sponsored by Gen C. Oh, now that you're not tied, are you missing it? Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Oh, that happened? It was all over that damn Elvis routine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're missing it? Of course. Who doesn't miss sex when you're not... Well, besides Pete. Who doesn't miss sex when you're not getting it? Pete. Besides him, every other male. Besides, we're talking about... It's like when you were 18, you drank your ass off. When you were 21, you slowed down. Not really. Yeah. Well, you know, I've been slow for like almost two months now. What? No, no, no. no. Wait, but he still drinks. No, man. (laughs) <laughs> he still drinks. No. <laughs> so you need to stop putting the Niagara in the drinks. <laughs> and that's when you get it, so shush. <laughs> Every two months? What should I drink? I don't know. <laughs> Every two months. Sex, well played, Bob. Who doesn't want drunk sex? Because I'm not the one drunk. <laughs> well, you need to start drinking, then. You better start drinking and stop being so fucking selfish when we're out. Oh, my. <laughs> It's we funny. had an argument about that. I'm like, why should I go home when you want to go home? Well, you have to sacrifice. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. Bring a car if you don't want to stay out late. I don't get to go out very often. When I do, I want to We've stay been out. We've been out every week. Together, I'm staying. I'm staying out with friends. So She says three weeks in a row is every week, and I've known her for 92 weeks now. <laughs> so 
Come on. Who says 92 weeks? I count. Yeah, she's not a baby. I know. (laughs) (laughs) No, but she makes it seem like we're out every week, and we're not. We pretty much are. No. Yeah, because we're going to the restaurants. If not, we're in Milford. We don't go anywhere no more, but. Well, well, Milford, Milford's got a lot of nice stuff. No, 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 no. We oh. used to drive from Naugatuck to Milford. Oh. But now that you're there, yeah, it's like fucking we're saying yeah, it's like we drove <laughs> the other day to look for a restaurant. We found a burger joint. We stopped there. Oh, there's, there's, you want to find Bar 333. Where is it? That's uh, right off of the post road. Right next to 334. <laughs> uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Across the street, you dumbass. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's got I, Steve. No, I just put bar 333 in my uh, GPS and I found it. it, it seriously, if you it's, it. a, it's a great it's a great bar. They have uh, decent music. We're not getting paid for this, Bob. Stop plugging it. No, that's fine. Hey. <laughs> but the exciting news is that we don't have to drive to Springfield no more. What? Yeah, we're going to be about 300 pounds in about... But how fucking miles. classy do you think it's going to be? That's my thing. Is oh, no, no, no. There's no class there's to Golden Crown. Never but there has classy to be. buffets. Well, but but there's the only white American buffet. Like, everything else is Chinese. No. Hometown buffet? What are you talking that's about? That's in Manchester. Oh, they just closed. Well, that's where I live in, in Manchester. They just so, went yes. out of business. Yeah, ours went out of business. Stores. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 90 stores. They shut all the Oh, no way. All the out. fucking chingling stops. Fucking that, that's lingling that's stops. Right Listen, there. when you go to Golden Corral, they have actually quality food. I like hometown buffet, but yeah, I, I'm down with Golden Crown. Crown. Yeah, well, you can food. like home down but, by but Springfield, buffet, but they won't Spring- be there anymore. They're there. They're <laughs> not. They can't lose that in Manchester. Manchester, they will. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna. There's that's the Ling Ling. But bus. they said that's the first place they're starting to open them, and they're gonna hire 200 people. So I think they're gonna do about nine stores in Connecticut. They need to. Golden Crown's awesome. I'm taking Golden anything Corral away. for one store is going to have close to 200 people. <laughs> I know, listen, we go to the one in Springfield. It's like the Million Man March at the Puerto Rican Day Parade. It's like and everybody shits fuck. in the middle of the living room. That's the, a problem. And, like, and they it's sit disgusting. there in there for, forever. You ain't yeah, you go, you go for lunch and you stay through dinner. No, we do that. Of course. You ain't going to eat a salad. Get up, eat your pork ribs, and go. <laughs> Dude, the line is crazy. It's nuts. It's gross, though. Like... It's got good food, though. That's what it, and you can't beat it for thirteen ninety nine, dude. Unlimited shrimp. Um, shrimp. And then they have the prime breakfast, ribs now. The shrimp, the, the, the breakfast, steaks. Breakfast, steaks. The steaks. Pork breakfast. All the day steaks breakfast. cooked to order. Yeah, yeah they're the steaks good. Cooked yeah. to order. And pork, they, I mean, that's pork not ribs. Bad. Yeah. Pork ribs may be my favorite they have dish. Those. It may be my favorite they dish have, in the world. Have, and they're fried they have chicken. Tacos, is, they have fried chicken. Their fried chicken is out of this. The world. salad bar is about the size of this building. Oh my god! Oh, and then they got a fucking caramel and chocolate fondue fountain. <laughs> I can't even. Oh. My stomach is this big now. I'd waste. I'd, I'd waste my it. I'd eat like one plate of food and be like, <laughs> "I've been a bachelor now for well, we I'm like a, one meal a day." Oh, see, portray Elvis I, after he died. Like, this week, I'm I'm alone. My sister and her husband are. You're not alone, Cruz. Sweetie. Okay, so I'm eating like every day. I'm eating great. <laughs> when they're home, they don't like to cook, so they order in. I can't stand that shit. <laughs> we went to a buffet in Atlantic City. Like it was forty dollars a person. All food. Yeah, forty dollars a person. And it wasn't impressive. No, it was. Did not it come like with champagne? Did it, they have no, champagne? Listen, no. they had crab legs. Good. Oh crab yeah, legs. if you're a crab leg eater, yeah. I don't and they give you legs. like three at a like three uh, clusters at a time. Yeah, they give you. They're like, not chintzy at all. They give you like really long crab legs. It's like I watched this family. It was you, three children and a father. And he must have said, look, I paid more than 40 motherfucking dollars each. <laughs> you go there and you eat. <laughs> Take I, your time. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. They had, I'm going to say, if I had to count, they had it literally between the four of them, over 70 crab legs. Wow. Not even bullshit. And then they were eating shrimp like it was bubble gum, bro. <laughs> but we didn't they take. They were eating shrimp like this. And it was like. I don't eat that much. We didn't take full advantage. You know, I think it was the third, right? No, the twenty fourth. No, so they didn't get the EBT yet. It's always pissed off when you don't take full, exa- we, full you know advantage. We didn't because they had like they had a steak station where you, they'll make your steak for you. I right ate here. the steak. It wasn't that good. He had a good place where the guy pasta. did fresh pasta. He he sautéed it in a pan. He'll put olive oil, garlic, and then he heats it up by flipping it, and then yep. he puts the sauce in there, and it comes out nice and fresh. They, the what they want you to do bucks. is eat pasta. Yeah, fill you it's up. Like, come on, come on, eat all the pasta you want. It's the best stuff we got. I so like the buffet. I'm, I'm with the people with the crab legs and the shrimp, man. Go, go well, pure see, protein. Uh, the dessert. If, if it's fresh pasta, it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna do it at home where you got you got to put oil in there and the garlic and onions, and you got to let it fry for a sec, couple seconds, and then you put the pasta in there before the sauce, and you do that little wrist thing. 
And then winds up all over the floor and I'm fucking yeah, trouble for the rest of the night. And then we're eating off the floor. <laughs> and then you pour the sauce on and you heat it up for another minute or two. And, oh, dude, and you pour. Oh, oh you see, there. I used to just have them put a little bit Jeez, of extra, growl. Uh, extra, extra virgin olive oil on it and yeah. eat it that way. I didn't like the sauce. I love the extra virgin oil. Oh, so you had like Kayla oil on it? I don't it? like yeah. the whore <laughs> olive oil. Yeah, I don't want the whore oil. <laughs> the extra virgin olive oil. I don't want the whore oil. Yeah. Don't buy, only buy American olive oil from California. Is that, that that's the new thing. That was like two weeks ago I saw something on Facebook yeah, about you that. Yeah, uh, the olive oil that's coming from Italy, like 60% of it is not what it's supposed to be. None it's of the olive oil is real. You've got to get, you've gotta get it from a certified uh, yeah, right. brand. Portuguese right. olive oil okay. is 100%. I know that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. If that's what okay. no. Connecticut's oil laws are really strict. The strictest yes. in the country. Exactly. So what we're getting here should be. Extra virgin. But did you see the 60 Minutes uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw show it. when they, they... Well, that's... you got to realize. Who the fuck that's watches 60 Minutes? That's basically talking about, uh, uh, about New York, about New York and Chicago, and they've got entirely different... Well, that's like the ketchup laws. Here in Connecticut. Beetle, Beetle Corleone's uh, olive oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're faking it, and they're shipping it over here in, in, in droves. Huh. They're, they're, they're shipping over a blended instead of a, a... Well, I mean, that's the same thing. Like, Israel did a whole thing on fucking American ketchup, and they're not allowed to have ketchup called ketchup in Israel because of their fucking uh, laws on how stringent ketchup needs to be with tomato well, be kosher. Not very, uh, that's because of know. kosher. No, it, it's just the fact that American ketchup is fucking all fake and chemicals. There's very little tomato to right. it. Oh, yeah. Right, right, right. right, right. And, and that's the problem. Yeah, they've, they've so it's American syrup. Right. So it's, it's, it's called like tomato paste or something like that. Well, that's why when you go get a fresh called. bottle of syrup in Vermont, you're like, what the fuck is this? It's oh. actually sawdust. It's gross. Ugh. Or in, uh, like in, we're in, in Russia, fake they syrup. did that with like, uh, in Russia, Russia they they fake syrup. I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't use anything but Vermont or New Hampshire. I don't like the taste of They're it. They're so it's bougie. Not, yeah, I know. Oh, no. I love it. you got to get the dark. Uh, I love it. Fucking white privilege. you got to get the dark. The dark amber. The dark amber is... you. The, a friend of mine takes it out of the trees himself loop. and he boils it. Yeah. So he makes syrup here in Canada. And he boils it. Right? I got friends that make syrup. Yeah, I used to make my own maple syrup. Yeah, I've done it with my brother. You have to boil it Yeah. Oh, yeah. We boiled it down. We had a 55-gallon drum cut in half the long way. And then you had a wood fire underneath it with a gr- uh, like a uh, mesh grate on right, the top right, of it, yeah. and that would and so you you fill that thing up. So basically, you got like forty gallon, thirty five, forty gallons mm-hmm. of, of sap in there, and if you boil that down to about uh, uh, about four quart, four yeah. quart, yep. and you bring it in the house, and then you boil it down more on the stove, and then oh. you, end up, you end up getting uh, out of that thirty five gallons of sap, you get about you get a couple five. couple a couple of quarts. Yeah, about that three, sounds like my balls. They're quarts, like 35 yeah. quarts deep. Like, I only spit oh out like a maybe God. a... a, a, a I, I, I lived way up to make in loop. northern New Hampshire. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that we had during uh, the February through March period was a tour of a... Uh, uh, a New Hampshire uh, sure, maple sure. syrup. Uh, yeah. Like, I would do that if there was a titty bar involved. Okay. And I mean, it was like... what. Well, the, but I'm telling you, when you get the dark amber, mm-hmm. there's a ton. Dark ton amber. Ton oh, yeah, she's got the purplish nipples. Yeah. There's a ton and ton, a ton of flavor. Uh, I love the dark amber Thursday. versus the light amber at the titty bar. Yeah. I'll give you that. I like amber alert. Uh, can you, uh, you're a sick can, cookie. Can you line up three syrup colors in front of me? I'll take them all. <laughs> <laughs> there's that that comes in three grades. I can That'd just picture, picture Bob is. being yeah, like a, uh, a syrup snob, like with wine. He's like spitting it out. He's like, what is this? It's like, send it back. Send it back. <laughs> this is Canadian. You want to truthfully. It truthfully. doesn't have enough pulp. You can really tell the difference between Canadian and Vermont. Pumpkin spice pancakes with Absolutely. this crap. Absolutely. Yeah. You can There's tell no, the difference. No, no comparison. Yeah. No, I mean, no. it's like, you got to realize something, okay? I, when well, they have a longer winter, so they yeah. end up having a better flavor syrup. That's right. and it, uh, But the, the difference is, I mean, does Before it really I come mean, from a tree? tree? Yes. Like instead of a tree? Yeah, yes. it's tree it looks like a hose they, spigot. Yeah. You drill it in, you put it in, and then you turn it on. It just comes and out they have like buckets a... That that's what those blue lines are in Litchfield well, that they rip out all the time? Don't, don't, that's, yeah. that's the more modern way nowadays. But, but when, when I used to have it, we had like uh, about, about 100 trees tapped, and I used to go around with a couple of five-gallon pails and then collect the sap that, that was on the... Uh, that uh, and. You know, out of the bucket. Now, why don't you boil them for it to take all the impurities out? Or? You got to boil it no, down. You're boil it down. To the sugar. You're going to boil it down. Get it thick. Yeah, to the you're sugar. Ev- evaporating all the water out of it. 
<laughs> and we, my brother and I would do it. He did it in a stainless steel, big, gigantic sink. Yeah. Big stainless. And, and he did all his wood. He'd burn wood. wood. Yeah, we hardwood. Wood. He'd do hardwood. Okay, everybody. I was making a serious point. And what he would do is he would keep the ashes out of it, but you'd get that you'd get that smoke mm -hmm. that would the come smoke, and yeah. roll over the top of it and give it exactly. that smoky, oaky, smoky, yeah. maple yeah. flavor. Well, mm -hmm. and, and that's that's a true maple syrup farm, not the manufactured crap that comes in the bottles. Mm -hmm. That log cabin bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's corn syrup. That, it's a mama that's shit. Basically that's corn not, syrup. That doesn't have any maple that's, syrup. Right. right. There's no maple syrup in there. It's, it's just, just brown water. water. I grew yeah. up on corn. Yeah, but we grew up on that. I grew we, up we on corn think that's syrup. Well, yeah, syrup. I mean, hey, look, before when I moved to New Hampshire, I was used to that. That's what I used. To. Now, <laughs> I'm sorry. I act order it. Her son's the same way. From a friend of mine who uh, uh, actually the person that I, I set up with the hotel that I worked at, and I set them up as the supplier for the hotel. When I when I run out He's of syrup, a pusher, baby. I uh, I just Pushing contact that syrup. him. He still sends me a gallon at a time. A gallon. A gallon. I don't I don't eat breakfast. How long does it take to make a gallon? <laughs> Quite a while. A long, yeah, I know. Long time. Wait, what kind of syrup do they inject into the McGriddle? That's what I need to know. Oh, I don't know. That's good, man. I don't even think the McGriddle's a real fucking thing. It's so what? Bad. what do you mean? It's the best. I think so. McDonald's has <laughs> no, I mean, like, it's, it's like in Russia, it'll say not actually food. But like, what do you mean not real? <laughs> <laughs> like not real. It looks like a. It looks like, it looks like a ten-year-old raisin English muffin. No, it's so good. But you have to ask them for the round egg instead of that nasty egg that they put on it. Yeah, the square egg's disgusting. Yeah, you got to ask. Ew, for the I don't egg. like the white egg. Wait, what? You have to get There's the a different kind of egg. Oh what? my god! I, I yes. can't get any cheese anymore from. I'm a big. No I, if I want to so eat fast food, it's Burger King. Croissant. Uh, uh, Burger King gives you a meal. McDonald's gives you it in a bite. I don't like Burger King. I love it. I they they give you the round tater tots. The, the round tater tots, yeah. I'm down with. I used to get Chris sandwiches and tater. Uh, anyway, I'm so hungry. Yeah. We're going off the air. Right? Can we just what's like? The, can we end this early and go out to eat? The girl. Wendy's? Wendy's. That's the one. Yeah. They don't do breakfast, though. We're talking about they don't do breakfast. They used to. Has they anybody try tried Taco Bell yet? No. It's disgusting. It's uh, absolutely it's appalling. Uh, I just feel like Taco Bell doesn't get anything right. Why would we? Wait, wait, wait. They're, they're out of contract, man. They, they were in the news the other day being the healthiest fast food restaurant in the world. Well, yeah, because... for horses. <laughs> Isn't there right, a, shouldn't right there be a, does good breakfast. Shouldn't there be a song for maple syrup? Yeah, how, how, can you make oh, up a song yeah. about maple syrup? Call it Amber Brown. Oh. Uh Amber no. Brown, Amber Brown. Amber Brown is someone that Bob met at the strip that's, joint. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I got one about me and my... Like, make it wicked dirty, have like all this innuendo in it. And then it was like, would you write that about some girl you had, some fling? You're like, no. No, that's maple syrup. So it was a breakfast baby. I had in 84. <laughs> Who's your bitch, maple syrup? <laughs> Three shades. That's my bitch, maple syrup, y'all. Three shades of syrup. Right Changed on. my life. I never went back to that shit. Right on. Well, it the thing about it slow. is they don't have nice names for the three shades. It's just <laughs> dark amber, light amber, and pale. That's all I <laughs> that, that sounds like a whole lot of white privilege. I feel like that's how like, Bob got divorced. He just comes home. It's like, what is this log cabin bullshit? I'm done with this. I bet you if we put it in cups and he drank it like it was semen, he wouldn't make a difference. Uh, uh, w how did you drink your semen? Uh, <laughs> like a little baster. Wow, man, that's cum swapping. I saw it on the internet. <laughs> snowballing is the it's technical a TV term. Show now. Is it snowballing? Snowballing is the I technical defer. term. I defer. Well, on ABC, they got a show called Cum Swapping where they take two t two people waiting to have kids, <laughs> like two 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 women, and they switch the cum. They switch the cum, and they don't know what kind of like, a TV show? donor that they have. What? Like, yeah, it's a TV show. So this is a TV show. What called Cum Swap? And no, it's like the sperm donors, right? Like these people think they're getting this person, but they're actually getting this like homeless guy. And they switch it on them, and then they wait like 15 years, and they do like a thing on it. It's pretty crazy. You, you almost killed, killed Bob, Bob, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you never heard of came back? I actually believed him. Oh, That's I a good show. You came back? I know, right? Because think about like these like rich people who like can't afford kids are getting science to do it, and they're like, oh, we got this guy from an Ivy League school. It's like great hair, and they turns out to be Danny DeVito. <laughs> It just shows that, like, hey, how are you, Mom? I was got real disturbing, though. <laughs> it's a good idea. So you haven't wrote anything new? Because you've been real busy, right? <laughs> uh, no, I haven't, I haven't gotten anything new. That, I feel that is the best Nothing fucking finished. radio no. segue ever. No, because we haven't talked to them in a while. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
No, not not uh, not since the last time I was on. Have you been no. able to try to or no? Or is it just too? Oh too yeah, no, a little bit here and there. Yeah. But I, it's, I just I haven't got anything finished yet. That, uh, since since the last time I was here. Does it get to be too too? The... No, you get. Wait, wait, wait. Does it get to be too distracting when you have a bunch of stuff going on in your life at once? No, no. Like, no your it, things that you're trying to do get like messed up. No, no. <laughs> I, uh, it's not about you, man. Okay, it's about I, 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 I get, I get, I get, I get, you get writer's block. You know, you get, you get, how about you get half a song and then, and then you like, you're, you get stumped and you just can't get. You like, well, so you, you just have to walk away from the song and then wait till it comes to you. Write you know. down those ideas. You see? Of maple syrup and cum swap. Bob, you've right. got like wait a Wait for album. the penis and wait for it to come, come to you. I've been waiting. All right. Maple syrup. Or extra virgin olive oil. I wait oil. every Sunday. For cum swap <laughs> and maple syrup. <laughs> that's, a, that's Ricky's sex life right there. It's cum swap and maple syrup. <laughs> how long does that usually take before that block is over well, in those songs? <laughs> yes, how long? <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> sometimes, uh, it, sometimes, it's, uh, sometimes it comes, comes uh, to me in a day. And other day, at times, uh, it could be a few weeks. Before. How about every uh, Sunday morning before the sports show? <laughs> <laughs> before? Oh, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh! oh! Oh, yeah. I got, I, I got my music room in the new house, and... Um, I, 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 I'll once go in there. The, once he gets all the little projects done around yeah, the that's house. The I'm trying to tell her. Once yeah. I do all what I'm supposed to do, we'll bang every day. Yeah. Well, how much more is on your list? <laughs> Can we take <laughs> bets on that? <laughs> yeah. Can we take she should on be on your to-do <laughs> list. <laughs> that right? should be at the top she of the list. She shouldn't have to do it herself. <laughs> <laughs> that's the top of the list every day. The look on his face, he's going to fist you any moment. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to trump you at any second yeah. right now. It might not be the fisting you want. <laughs> I'm just so busy. I, even if I came home and she was with somebody, I don't think I'd notice. <laughs> but I've been working on a lot yeah, of cover yeah, 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 songs, yeah, yeah. though. I've been doing, working on more cover songs, too. So, Arrangement. And then I'm learning how, I've been teaching myself how to play the banjo. So, Are you going to write yeah. stuff about your, your area again or no? Yeah, eventually. eventually. I, 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 Where was that Pleasant Valley song about? Pleasant Valley? But my, my hometown, Pleasant Valley. <laughs> like, in Connecticut is Pleasant yeah. Valley or New York? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I'm from New York. There's a Pleasant Valley, New yeah, York. It's over near New Hartford, right? And there yeah. was a song yeah. about it. I've been it, through it. Okay. It's, it's, you go to the it's, it's, it's the only place with a drive-in. I think the guys called, some, some guys called no, there's the one Monkeys in did a song about Pleasant Valley. New York. They? they did that. That yeah. one was that about Pleasant Valley, New York. Okay. Nice, I like that one. It made me think of New York. That's why I was like, yeah. "Oh, please about New York." No, no, it's uh, it's it's up. It's part of uh, Bar Campston. Okay. Got, uh, Bar Campston is Shh. part of. Um, he's got Pleasant Valley, Riverton, and then Bar Campston East. And that um, that's the one that's getting airplay, isn't it? Um, Pleasant Valley. Got what? It's getting airplay. Airplay. Yeah. I've know. heard it on a radio station. Really? Yeah. And I said, "Wait a second. That sounds like Howie. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, that's the song. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I've, uh, that was the third uh, third song in the album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that that. Uh, you know what's weird is that this first song seems to be uh, getting more airplay than than that song. What song is that? Hello, friend. Want to okay. sing it? Well, that's. I have. Yeah, sure. Right. Yeah. I, um, um, yeah. It's a, it's yeah. a great song. You heard them all, right? Yeah. yeah. Where can we download your song? Where can we find your music? Uh, you can find it on any download site. Um, Stay what do we look for? Spotify because they no, don't pay them enough. Look for Howie, Howie B. Baldwin. And <laughs> I have to the, pay the, now. The album is Friends and Friends and Lovers. Okay. And it's uh, Me it's too. on. Uh, How about I, iTunes, it? Google, hmm. Google uh, Play, uh, Amazon uh, uh, hmm. Music, uh, uh, just about any download site. Okay, awesome. Howie B. Baldwin. That's what we look for. Now, that you almost sounds <laughs> urban. Howie B. Baldwin, yo. Dude, you just <laughs> crop dusted me with that burp. You did. You crop dusted me. He didn't move anywhere. You have to be moving for a crop dust. It was like a cloud of uh, the fan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I did get it. Did it it smell like shepherd's pie? With peas? It smelled like (laughs) and Twizzlers. She made shepherd's pie. Twizzlers, beers, shepherd's pie, and fucking like Smirnoff. (laughs) I love shepherd's pie. Uh, Shepherd's pie is like meatloaf in a pan. Uh, We had this conversation. She doesn't dry it out enough. It smelled like peat innards. Ugh. And she has to put cheese on top. Pie is not supposed to be dry. It is, it for is me. a stew. It's for me. Like, Shepherd's like pie is dry. a stew, and it's supposed to be made with lamb. Oh. What? Really? Yeah. Says who? I love me the lamb. What? 
Says who? No, I've always looked at the Jimmy. Irish. Who created it? Justin. Betty Crocker. No, 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 no. no. I've always, I've always. She's I've, the one who made it with ground beef instead of chunks of lamb. Ch- what? Chunks oh, of that's... lamb sounds. Yeah. Who said? Hey, lamb I, was know, big. I, I love lamb. I love lamb. Who lamb. invented that? The Irish. Yeah. Shepherd's pie. Yeah. Figures. Lamb. What do you mean? I mean, they have lamb. to have shepherds. Right? A lot of what? cultures have shepherds. How, how do you know it wasn't a but, Scotman? Huh? Hey. How do you know it wasn't a great Scotman? No, no, no. no. It was the Irish. He's giving you all he's got. I can't give you any more. I need more. You need more? The Wait, do you need more? Crystals can't hold, Captain. Wait, don't you just go Damn it, Bob. Yourself. Damn it. <laughs> do we get to kill the British? <laughs> I don't know if Peter turned up the guitar yet. No, he hasn't. <laughs> Hello, Peter, my old friend. Turn up the guitar for us again. Yeah. Thank you. Is that Ricky? No. Ricky's vagina? No. Where the hell is my... Uh... There's some at the house. Don't R- the are we going to talk about Ricky's vagina? No, I'm just like, hey, we Peter, got a song my old friend, up. where are you? Don't put my mind over there. We have a song coming up. I have to, I have to show interest right. in this man's music. All right. Yeah, this, this one here has grabbed the attention of... Uh, a few DJs in uh, uh, different parts of the, in, down in Texas and uh, in uh, West Virginia. And then, um, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, they, in, even in Torrington, they, they, uh, Torrington Station. Seems Where Torrington so. Brown is from? Yeah. <laughs> in yeah. fact, I think that's what his burp smelled like, Torrington Brown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it was. That was my porn name, it Torrington more Brown. like an Akron. I would only do black Akron people. Rouge. All right, ready? Hello, friend, how you feeling? It's been so many years and too many tears. Late last night, we were talking. I looked into your eyes. I didn't even try. I'd rather keep you as a friend than lose you as a lover. We both have to bet from our mistakes. Maybe we deserve each other. Hello, friend. A spring day in the morning. You're always on my mind since 79. A bright sun, country road. While riding on my bike, how you fill up my life? I'd rather keep you as a friend than lose you as a lover. We both have learned from my mistakes. Maybe we deserve each other. But much. Hello, friend. <laughs> Ignore him. Ignore him. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> Hello, friend. How you feeling? So here we are again, from beginning to end. Late last night, we were talking. You looked into my eyes like you Bitch. have so many times. I'd rather keep you as a friend. Then lose you as a lover. Bitch! <laughs> we both have learned from my mistakes. Maybe we deserve each other. Ow! <laughs> Hello, friend. What am I gonna do Woo! now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, friend. Wow, that was, you know, <laughs> in my opinion, this was like one of the worst songs I've ever written. But to everybody, the that, that all the DJs airplane. seem to love it. You yeah. know? Well, like it, it, you know why? Because it has that like I want to sit on a porch in a summer day. Yeah. Right. No, it does. No, it does. No, it does. No, you wanna, it has that. Just great, old Ricky's pussy. All great this, bourbon yeah. drinking it's music. Yeah. The, the message that it has is is universal in in the statement of. You know, are we going to lose? Bitch. Are we going to lose our friendship if if we do it? Yeah, that's what it's about. Yeah. You know, and Ow. that is a universal feeling that everybody has had. Mm. Yeah.
and people are are and, and the you know it's a good song, mm-hmm. but that message hasn't I haven't heard that. Any, people can relate uh, to it. I yeah. haven't heard that, so that's yeah. a, that's that's the strength of that. What song. message are you trying to tell everybody, Mike? Dude, did you just hear what I just said? <laughs> I mean, it. come on, that was like come on. He, definitely, he definitely fucking reached out to all three of his bitches that were listening right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was definitely like, hey, baby. <laughs> Pay attention to this song. Were you trying to, to be subliminal or something? No, no. I was and just the sore. phone is going to ring. I was diagnosing. Five, four, three, <laughs> two. What the five. fuck are you at, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Buff it. Don't. <laughs> Buff it. Oh shit. That's good. Though. The Karen support you. Yeah, See what happens oh, when you, when you oh, say yeah, something. Very, very much. What's it like with the kids? Busy all the time. Oh just, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, it's hectic. Kids are chaos. Yeah, kid, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, yeah, we already <laughs> can you even look we at already the, did the kids? We already did Con, the kids. Uh, we did the kids. Fighting. We've done every question he's asked at it's least three times. Hour. Just it's a back new hour. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> it's a new hour. <laughs> <laughs> just repeat the first hour then. If and critique Say ourselves. Nice. <laughs> we'll can sit here I, listen to the first hour back? and critique Thank ourselves. You. We'll make fun of ourselves in the second hour about the first hour. DJ but Alzheimer's it, here playing everything again. It's not it doesn't all Our listeners have had all night. <laughs> it's like finally a break from semen and maple syrup <laughs> <laughs> and folk music. I'm trying to masturbate in here, <laughs> and all I keep hearing is about this maple syrup <laughs> and semen. Well, I'm gonna tell you what. Oh, and gutters. It's even better. That's be- even better than chocolate syrup. Semen? Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm not mixing that with my oh, that's, that's, a good, that's a good question. Chocolate syrup or quick? No, quick. No, no, no. I feel like quick is dangerous. Maple syrup. It be pre made. How about a new, different kind of syrup now? <laughs> chocolate Baby syrup, syrup the, the Hershey's old fashioned chocolate in your in milk. Powder yeah. or, or syrup? Powder. Or quick. Powder. Oh, Hershey's. The quick oh, powder? Or yeah, Hershey's? Hershey's. Hershey's. Uh, I don't yeah, think it's sweet enough. If you buy it, though, it's in the uh, bottle, it has to be quick. If you're making it at home, Quick. It has to what be am quick I, at home. What you am make I, it with uh, milk or water. Ricky and her children love everything. Yeah, water? Oh, I thought you were talking about in bed. <laughs> yeah, Bob. Uh, uh, no, no. The only Story time Bob is single for all you ladies out there listening right that's now. This kinky person. motherfucker. No, no, no. That's all you got on his mind. Yeah, the powder the form powder, wouldn't yeah. work for that. No, no. I don't think no. that would go over well. Unless you were looking for a specific well, area. Well, well, the powder you form. Talk, you were talking about being in the gutter? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. The powder form works if it's moist down at the bottom. Yeah, well, it's like that's, that's well, if you're going idea. down under, that works. But but you gotta warm it up first. Using things on a person that has any kind of sugar value is just wrong. It just gets you sick after a while. And that's a that's bad. That's well, a PSA. Kids. You don't want to be getting sick of don't you just use had a whole... sugar during sex for diabetics. It's a well, bad you idea. Don't, you don't use a lot. It's a very <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> you don't use you any. You can kill someone. Just use, olive, just use olive oil, okay? <laughs> olive oil. Yeah. If you're by yourself, use palm oil. Extra virgin. <laughs> Would it kill you to put garlic and butter on your vagina? There you go. Jeez, close your legs and wait you a few minutes. He might get in there more. <laughs> close your legs and wait a few minutes while garlic. Oh, hey, politics. we're going to make it like right. anchovy stir fry. <laughs> I was just going to say, Rick. <laughs> we drove up to... Uh, now you got some cliff notes. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> We drove up to Love Boutique the other day. Yeah. Almost made it in. Oh, mm. He stopped and then he took off. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, what, what? You didn't go inside? No. She, she was like, by yeah, the, uh, no, uh, so, Pete, what's going on? It seems like you're not making it inside a lot. At least she's going down under a little more. She goes, <laughs> it's got porn in there. I'm like, I don't. I don't get into that stuff. But it's not. Porn to me is worth it. There's some great toys that you could play with with in there. Get this beautiful fucking woman dressed up in some sexy shit to get your dick hard and knock her back out. (laughs) 
I'm I'm to me, it's a waste. Of a I don't last long enough, baby. That's the problem. Dude, this is what you do. Oh, all right? This is what you do. All right? You do it twice. Wait. <laughs> you go in here. You get you, you What? Get, Who does it twice? You get In, hand. like, the same time? Or, like... <laughs> this, listen to me. I thought about you today. Look at the... There's a defibrillator <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Boom! You get... You get some... You get some handcuffs. You secure her to the bed. Now I want to make her a prisoner? Yeah. Because yeah. then you can just go do it whenever you Make feel sure like. you have a safety word. Lock her to the bed, and then when safety you feel word. like having sex, you come back and have sex. <laughs> yeah, you don't need a safety word. I'll be word. there all <laughs> week. <laughs> Till Sunday. Make sure it's She's Sunday like, I'm still morning. here. I need Hello. to get a feather duster to see yeah. how hard you can get the I need, I need to find the gene that gets <laughs> me excited about reruns of... Uh, he, eugenics. Order. Listen to fucking... sleeping next to her. If you listen to ESPN all day, there's free eugenics. I'm going to bring a bottle next week. Please do. <laughs> God, testosterone. You might have some low T. And someone has low D. T pills. No, I might. Listen. Your T is good. Your D is the problem. No, the D is the problem. No, the D is not the problem. It's the he tea. meant me. I have low D. She has low D right now. Oh, she has low D. She needs That's to get some vitamin D. A, a lot of New Englanders have low D. Then the sun up here. Right, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah D12, right. <laughs> D- She's on a different low D. Just to get those, D- <laughs> those vitamin D prick shots. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, listen, I thought the other day that um, I thought the other day you can pass on a, a UTI. What? And you then, can pass listen, out at UTI? This is funny. She, I thought you can get UTI from your partner. So then the other day, you know when soap goes down your pee hole huh? and you pee like in the shower and it burns like shit? Yep. I was like, motherfucker, it's true. Wait, how bad? I can get UTI. <laughs> how big is your dick hole that so you're I, taking soap down it? How bad are your shits so, where what? it burns like shit? I was in the shower. So I said, instead of I yelling, shower every day. I've never had fucking soap in my dick hole. And I've got a Prince Albert. Dick. Wait a second. Right, so, so I said, instead of yelling. I've got a second hole that p- fucking soap doesn't get into. How big is your dick hole? Listen, instead of yelling at her, I said, let me try it again. I it's like a second He's got shit in his fingernail, too. You never had the rest. He's got shit in his never fingernail. Had soap I know I have. Fuck. When you fucking have that little bit of extra. Soap goes I've got a fucking second yeah, hole on my penis, and I don't have soap go down it. Maybe that's a false hole. Dude, prove then it. you're not washing Just because you Excuse don't me. use What soap. do you mean? Of course I'm washing it. I'm going to get some proof on that, bro. Well, I wash my dick more than you wash your fingernails. Why are you screaming? Listen, you're talking spank we now, man. We don't even scream no more. Listen, everybody in this room has had soap in their pee hole but you. Okay, Maybe. and, and I'm the only too. one with a second hole. <laughs> What's wrong with you, then? I don't know. Are I'm you numb down there? No. Is it? Did you get pierced? Yeah, I'm a Prince Albert. Oh, oh that's what a Prince Albert is. I yes. am so lame. He, he I, am, I am the I lamest know. individual. I need to be around you. because you, you notice how I said everybody and Howie didn't even disagree with me. So. <laughs> <laughs> even if Howie got it. You've had, pee, you've had soap in your dick hole to where it's pee? pee hole. Not a whole so bar, just a little like So sucks. pee hole and dick hole are different. You have a dick hole and a pee hole? That's what you're telling me. What do you have, a vagina? I just keep saying, well, every time I've said dick hole, you keep going pee hole. There's only one hole. I had a hole. horrible rake accident right? when I was you're That's Rita. my fucking point. How many of the Franklin's you got in your dick? One? No, Everybody man, the main Franklin. tube is just one tube, but right. you got, like, different branches that come up if to make got, up, the, you know, you so there's going to be, be different Swiss. ejaculates. And I, definitely, dirt. man. Like, it, Swiss I, cock. <laughs> there's still the not semen. That's, to be that's clear, not still no soap in my fucking penis. Whoa, guys. <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Everybody's getting excited. Uh, stop putting soap in your pee hole. <laughs> You're the one putting soap in your pee hole. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
because I'm not going to throw my vote away, and I don't want Trump in office. Okay, all right. <laughs> but don't tell me she's better than Trump. She's better than Trump. I just told you, I see your face. She's better than Trump. We're fucked. No matter what happens, we're fucked. Even if he gets elected. Don't hurt yourself. You might rip your ass apart. We're back. Keep your own radio. Oh, yeah. well, you and I are back. <laughs> but we won't survive. Hi, but we won't Hi. survive four years of Hillary. No, we won't. I think next week's a great idea. We need, <laughs> you? We need someone. Probably. Not for you. Well, Not for us. I have to show by myself. But it's, it's already I'll be sad and lonely. 16 years. Aw, no sad and lonely. You retards ready yet? So uh, on sale at Big Y this week is uh, oh, where Mike's live. Yeah. Pretty much. There is ground beef on sale at Stop and Shop. There is ground beef on sale. Two ninety nine a pound. Oh, nice. Yeah. At Stop and Shop. And it's still going on. It's still going. Why should he? He's a fucking businessman. She also sat while Secretary of State remembered when we got good. So remember that. No, she wasn't. Bin Laden's been dead for a long, long time. I can't do it. I don't need that noise. I can't do it. What noise? The background noise? 
are on the political party rant network. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. We're on, you know. We've been on for like five minutes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, so we're everybody back. Everybody knows all of your feelings about I thought you were going to do a <laughs> countdown. I thought we had discussed the countdown. Well, when right, you see my right, headphones right, on, right, still waiting for a light. you got to get one of those on the air. I know. Sorry. Well, he did say we're back. <laughs> they didn't hear me. You need a shot caller. <laughs> <laughs> We're the air. I need a shot caller. You just need it for Bob, too, just in case. Shock him back into life. Got one in the break room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, a defibril- That's how we bring you back, Bob. <coughs> My father married well. His After he divorced my mother, he married a woman that's a trauma nurse and has already saved his life twice. 20 years his junior. I, I was like, Dad, you married well. That was a smart decision. Oh, my God. That's a good idea. She's like there. She just paddles him like every third day or so. Paddles or straddles? Ooh. Ooh. Which kind of paddles? So in the mood right now. No, it's, oh. it's, it's every ridiculous. fourth day to the straddle. <laughs> no and Dad, he's just fine. He's just sucking the park. Twizzlers down. No and Dad, he'll get, he gets it more than he does. <laughs> He could get it more. He could get it more. He could get it He doesn't want to give it more. <laughs> oh, my God. He just, I almost just... didn't do it. I almost didn't do it. I thought, is this in bad taste? But you know what? I went for it. I went for it, and I am so glad I did. That was Saturday oh, night. worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> you know, that could keep her happy two out of three nights a week. <laughs> and then you only have to do it three times. <laughs> That's math for you. <laughs> Two out of three. <laughs> How they even have like a strap-on thing you just place over your penis and make it work for her. If you went inside, you'd know yeah, that. Yeah, but he'd still have to. But don't call the neighbor. <laughs> but don't get soap in it. That's a. <laughs> it burns. You don't want to get soap into your dildo pee hole. That's yes, the worst. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You got to return it. Yeah. Got to make that awkward walk down the Kmart. It. Yeah, you got to clean it with a Q-tip. <laughs> you can buy those items on Groupon, you know. Yes. What, exactly. tilde? <laughs> yeah. Oh, strap so out, get, strap out okay. pseudos. At Costco, too, you can buy it by the pallet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about Costco. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> by the pallet? Who needs Wait, that you wanna, you wanna buy a pallet of dildos? No, I want the forklift. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a pallet? It's huge. <laughs> Are you really hot? Yeah. That's you know, that would be a good skit or a good uh, a candid camera thing <laughs> is just get like a pallet of dildos, drop them off on like a, a, a gas station corner and set up like they used to sell the old Velvet Elvises in the day. No, 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 no. You had the pallet break apart. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just set up and sell them. I want to say this is the nicest page on the website. <laughs> How long do you think it'd take Especially for you to that shut that sexy down? guy right there. Yeah, or, you know, oh, what you do is you put, you get a pallet of dildos. What you do is you put a little, like, microphone in the middle of it, put all the dildos in it, like, seal it, and just have, like, the screaming child in there, and it's like, oh, my God, help me! And, like, people are, like, ripping dildos out to try to get to the kid. That's a good idea. <laughs> just, like, people walking down the streets, like, oh, my God! And There's we have a, to... And a we, literal we, ball pit I gotta go through. But we here. literally have to get, like, a, a, a short person and put it in the middle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> With a sandwich in case people don't come to save her. With a sandwich. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little tasting station in the middle. Too, where they do it. <laughs> but it's like, how many dicks does it take to get to the center <laughs> of the dildo pit? A tasting station? <laughs> is it Sarah you just got that? You just heard that? I don't know. No, it's a, a tasting station? Yes, like where they're handing out fucking samples. That's the only reason why people go to BJ's Sarah and Costco's. Semen. Zero per <laughs> semen. Yeah, that, yeah that, like from the middle of the dildo uh, thing, man. A, a tray comes out with like little weenies on it, man. Like pigs in a blanket. It's like, would you like mustard with that? You'll have to squirt it on yourself. That, that could be the a jar great. is right next to the dildos. That Amber could be a Brown. great skit with Bob. Are you that? Like, you could do yes, a great... I'm listening. You could do a great skit with Bob. You could do a great skit with Bob when he's at a Costco. And he's selling hot dogs, but he's in the dildo section. <laughs> I'm just like, no one likes these. What is Let's this? Get them out of here. Can we get a bunch of these and put, like, uh, mannequin bobs in them? Bob's going up to, like, every 17-year-old girl who wants a weenie. Wait, wait, wait. wait. This, this is exactly what it would sound like. Hang on, hang on. Wait a second here. Hang on. This is exactly what it would sound like. Hang on. Uh, one of the bobs in the box. We'll call that. Hang on. Ready? Put it up, put it in. 
Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> wow. Okay, I gotta do a description for the audience because they can't see Bob right now. He's turning red. I think the and he's losing air. He's actually holding his chest. And at any moment, teeth are gonna come flying out of his mouth. I think the therapist is like our teeth is red. And then he breaks know. out. He breaks out to his organ fucking thing on his. His glasses are gonna steam up here soon. Okay, he spotted himself. <laughs> Officially, he has urinated on himself. <laughs> but it was in order to get the soap out of the pee. <laughs> yes, and it burnt. And it burned. Oh. How it burn? Yeah, that, that's a true story. That happens. It somewhere. burns, burns, burns. That happened. Uh, really? Yeah. I told you it was. It's not contagious. UTIs are not contagious. That shit won't burn when it gets Yeast infection's people. contagious, but not UTIs. It was just perfect timing. I'm like, UTIs are contagious. She's like, no, they're not. I see, yes, they are. She goes, no, they're not. Then, like, the next day I took a shower and I got soap in my peel. I was like, yes, they are. <laughs> like, what is this? You're like, you're Why am idiot. I burning? <laughs> it's poison ivy, Wait, man. I told you once before. It's poison ivy. Am I having a flashback from the 70s or 80s? I don't know. What was your uncle like? <laughs> Unforgiving. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you ever say sorry? Poison ivy. <laughs> Put it this way. Christmas is me and Ricky now. <laughs> uncle Michael used to jerk us off with poison ivy. <laughs> yeah, right next to the yaks. <laughs> Ow. You imagine how much calendar you would need on your dick if someone jerked you off with it? With a piece of poison ivy, calamine, whatever. I talked, I, to, I, I talked to a kid in sixth grade to masturbating with icy hot. That was fun. Oh yeah, I've done that. Oh, no, you never had nothing in your pee. It wasn't bad. I <laughs> didn't do it. It wasn't <laughs> bad. Okay. Uh, uh, hey, listen. Hey, what you to watch off? Off? Okay. No, I just told them. Do we, we, we want to give up masturbation stories? But we were talking yeah. about <laughs> masturbation, and I was like, Oh, you know what I use? It sounds like this is sounds like this is going to be a nice little forum tonight. I'd like just like to be the first one to say to any kid out there that's eleven or twelve years old. When you're in the shower, do not use head and shoulders. Oh. That shit will burn your dick off. Do not use head and shoulders. Why? Because I came, dude, I came running out to my dad, and I'm like, Dad! Because I'm burning, I'm burning. And he's like, well, what are you doing? What are you, the for loop? Yeah. You're in the in shower. shower. Oh, I was in the shower. I didn't yeah, but to be fair, his bush is flake-free. <laughs> no, his dad did was laugh at me, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing at you just for using loop in the shower. Everybody uses soap in the shower. What? Not to jerk off. Well, I don't you? know. What is wrong with from? water? <laughs> How'd you water get soap? Wait, water. fine, yeah. I totally was like, oh, well, he got soap in his pee hole because obviously he was jerking off with fucking soap. That, that's not that, even that's the case. Happened. That's, that's happened. That's not even the case. <laughs> that's okay. happened. Too much soap in the pee hole. <laughs> oh, my God. This fucking night is gone. But I realized jerking Irish. off in the shower is worthless because it's just. Because I feel like a big weight just came off my shoulders after admitting to that. Good for you, Mike. I'm proud of you. Right. I think I think I just overcame. Well, some today kind is of... coming out National Coming Out Day, so I'm glad that we talked about how you came out coming <laughs> with head <laughs> and shoulders. <laughs> do they still make head and shoulders? Of course oh, yeah. they do. Yeah, they got yeah. a ball scent now. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> stop it! They right? got... keeps booking in your God bed. Damn! <laughs> they got... they I'm smell back. Wait, wait, I'm back they... in Torrington looking <laughs> at brown paint, <laughs> man. Jesus. <laughs> Peter <laughs> Pino's fucking burps smell as bad as they sound they to all tor- of our listeners. Carcass. Torrington Brown has a scent, too. It's carcass. <laughs> it is the belly of the beast. The Head and Shoulders has like 25 different flavors now. Flavors? Yeah. flavors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's got grit. I brush my teeth. It works. It's my gums, based. they don't flake. Champagne. They use it on everything. <laughs> exactly. I like to wash it down with, I don't know, heroin. Okay, that was a bit too far. <laughs> wow, wow that funny. stopped the room, man. You know what I've funny? said heroin like three? six times tonight. Nothing. <laughs> you <laughs> once. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you know, when you went to drugs. Uh, I guess we memories. can't joke about heroin and Torrington. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we can't put those two together. <laughs> <laughs> You're back, guys. Look at you. You're back. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, come on now, don't do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the weirdest jerk off. Come on, don't do that, bro.
Brian. Well, I'm sorry. Who's Brian? Yeah, who's Brian? <laughs> <laughs> you got so mad you called him Brian. <laughs> Brian does that every Sunday. Oh. We're not in the basement no more. That would have yeah, broken the basement. I never would have done that in the That's basement. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's just a, a running joke I do all the time. Even I like doing that at like real it's big like parties. The mic, right? No, <laughs> it's like throwing garbage down like you don't care and it catches everybody by surprise and they're not sure you did what you just did. I love to gauge people's did reactions you do that? to that. I do it all the time. <laughs> I throw garbage down like like I'm done with a plastic cup, I'll, I'll be in the kitchen, I'll just throw it on the ground. But people know me, so they know I'm joking all the time. But usually, it's, yeah, I'm it's sure great. it's great for the person picking uh, okay. it up. Yeah. No, no, I I usually He's pick so it up. Funny. It's it's okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> that Mom's theory? I will get you at it <laughs> one day. I'll be at a party with you, and I'll do it, and you'll go. All right, that does work. <laughs> it's a great way to not get invited back. <laughs> They're like, I just threw everything on the floor. Like, no, if you, you if, nachos. If you want to get rid of nachos. people, move your studio to Hamden. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't leave. <laughs> you can't get rid. I'm like a sticky booger on the you finger, man. I ain't leaving. coming back more now that we're here. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's only two already. So can't shake this fucker from the show. Roll it. You got a rolling flick. Andrew? Oh, oh yeah. Well, but didn't you have something else going on? Yeah, it's called uh, Vagina. Nothing. Oh, really? Uh, I, don't know. I wish that would blow in your face. I'm watching all your co- co- colleagues going to all these little... St- uh, little shows and they're getting like three people. What's going seven on? Seven people when the Joe, Joe, Joe yeah, Joe Reddington. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. I've, I've, I've been taking a little bit of a break. Is it even worth it anymore? No, it's fun. I love but doing it. But if you it. don't do the grind, you're never going to get the big audience. You know, yeah. like, and that's the thing and it's like, I think part of it too is a lot of it's like people are doing even too many shows where they're doing, I think they're know, doing too many. Like, I, you have Cream Blue on here. He never has a bad show. You know what I mean? Like he, but does, he doesn't do thirty a day a week. But that's the thing is, yeah. like, if you spread it out right, and you got a following, and you got people that can go, then you should be doing shows. But if you're just bringing the same, you know, twelve people that you know to get to every show that you, you do, you know, week, you're doing good when you're selling out a hall in Bethlehem. Yeah, yeah. And, but but, that, but but what I'm saying is, is that like, but he, you know, it's you're an not going to bring the twelve people every time, right? And and that's okay. the thing too. Is that's like, the problem. Well, I think. I don't know. Right For now? me, right. I know I'm not going to really make money on uh, this adventure God. early on, so I just do it. I just do the comedy. Like I don't like promoting. I don't want to. I don't want to put shows together. Right. That's just not me. Mm-hmm. But if someone asks me to be on a show, like I'm professional, I'll do exactly what they want me to do. Right. Um, be there early. Yeah, like, but you need to. Uh, one of the things you need yeah. to do is to let people know that you're doing the show. So put a Facebook event out oh, for yeah. whatever show you're doing. I mean, but but I think at the same time too, it's. What? A lot uh, of the promoter. Yeah, I like, smelled it. <laughs> yeah, the promoters should be right. doing more. Right, like I, I mean, see, like, like this, this, this I guy feel contaminated that I, that I work with. I feel uh, like I need Listerine I right now. <laughs> On your face. Yeah, I need to snort at, it. Too. At several different venues, <laughs> and he calls me up and he says, "Hey, I want to do this thing, and I want to get uh, six six acoustic players." Okay, so I give him two or three. He calls me back and he says, I still need three more. I said, aren't you a promoter? Don't you know anybody? Right. Don't ask me. I'm not, you're not paying me to get you people. Oh, well, it's the same thing as being a DJ. It's fucking, I'm supposed to bring all my friends and show up and fucking help your bar by bringing my friends. No, you're suppo- I'm supposed to provide entertainment because you have people at the bar. I'm not supposed to bring people. That's right. And everybody's gotten fucking lazy in the marketing department and the promoting department because everybody feels I'll throw an event on Facebook and boom, thousands of people should show up. But and that's not how it works. But the thing is Facebook though, I mean, it's good for some of that stuff, but I mean, how many events do we actually look at that we get in our inbox? Like, I actually I actually schedule my weekends and my weeks around events. And I put reminders in there. I say I'm interested or I'm going. Okay. And that's I get a reminder the day right. before that I want to go there. Yeah. If I if I don't see an event for somebody, I'm never gonna go. Oh no, I agree. I okay? think I think Facebook because is the minimum. Right. Requirement. Like, if you're on a show... We do that, too. We we, we go on uh, Facebook when we want to do something on the weekend. We'll look at events, but we don't go to 98% of them. Well, no. But you... Because you, you it's like, oh, my God, the mix is in Marshallman yeah. again. Oh, my God, 6A's in... 
Derby again. It's like <sighs> pretty soon you're gonna be like, oh, Mike's in that Christmas show. Let's go see that. <laughs> Make sure you make an event. He's playing Dead Elvis. If you don't do an event, it'll never happen. Yes, listen in bed. Yeah, well, yeah. Touch yourself you know, I, to me. I make events. I, I was trying with it with this promoter for a while, and it's, she always will, will try to book I me down in like New Haven, and like. But I had to sell, I had to sell twenty five tickets of, in order to get any kind of pay for, for the event, and I'm like, I can't. All my friends and people I know are up in. In the northwest corner, how am I going to get 25 people to come all go all the way to New Haven? What's for... the promoter supposed to do? They're a... supposed to generate yeah. bodies. I, 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 I okay. told you, I said, forget the about no, but... about booking me. Right, I'm going to ask. Right. I'm gonna ask you got to you... build that, though, don't you? You got to go down there, at least people see, see and start building your 25 people. I'm going to. Ask... Are you just going to give up in the whole area? It's New Haven, for God's sakes. You're, You're talking I'm about a booking agent. Listen, Listen people from Toynton will not leave the Toynton area. No, they won't. It's they New Haven, go. man. It's no. an international. It doesn't crowd. matter. You they don't know where Waterbury is, Mike. Ninety percent don't know where Waterbury is. Mike, but to go. That's what the promoter should be doing. Yeah. But they won't know. Yeah, but you still have to get down no. there. you got to be seen. you got to get out like the comedians do. No. If there's nine people there, they're there doing their shit to right, get seen. Right, but people from that area do not leave past Torrington. Torrington has everything needs. You can't need. expect somebody from Torrington to draw an yeah, audience yeah. down to New Haven. Well, wait a second. Okay. I didn't say no, that. Now. What I said was he goes down and he builds an audience. That's what I said. Right. And who's Ooh. supposed to help wow, you build right? it? Holy shit. No, but, no, he's trying to tell me I said something I didn't say. <laughs> but what? but the, they the but they, but they, they, the they only they only they based the amount of time you could play based on how many tickets you sell. So. Right. And if the promoter so if you don't sell any tickets, oh, you, oh, you, you go down there and you get to play two songs and then you have to leave. And then you're not allowed. then you're not allowed to look honest. You're not allowed to follow up. So I I know what you're saying. Because, like, I'll do a show, I'll go down and do a DJ show in New Haven, and they expect me to bring a certain amount of people. I can't bring people. I'm from fucking New York. Nobody in Connecticut comes out to listen to what the fuck I do. But they'll be like, oh, well, you didn't sell tickets. You didn't do shit. You're the first slot. So you go on and you do a half an hour. People that were there that listened for that half oh an hour. Oh, my God. Okay. I didn't, know. I didn't realize people, it worked like that. People that were there, works. yeah, were like, oh, my God, you're fucking amazing. Let me go on your YouTube. Let me go so on your now. Facebook. But I don't get called back again. Because I didn't fucking sell any tickets, right. but I've got all these people that are like, oh, where's your next show? Oh, it's owed by me? And then I'll fucking go to some podunk bar in the fucking middle of Wallingford. That's why I do theater, man. Yeah, it's, it's a tough <laughs> That's why I do artist, theater. Man. It's tough <laughs> it's right like, now. My audience is there. And it's a tough business right now, but I'm going to give you a little scenario. Um, there's a friend of mine who's in a band. I won't say the name. And um, <laughs> they got signed. Yeah. Well, they said they got signed. So something told me to... Be wary of it because we were involved with a guy who was doing a, he was putting out a huge concert, and he called us on to broadcast. We're like, okay, there was like a hundred bands. He was gonna have fucking downtown by Jones Beach in New York, wherever. He was gonna have that all whatever all locked up and everything. Hundred bands. So then he started telling the bands, all right, send me a hundred dollars and a green dot card. Ooh. Okay. Now you're paying to play. First of all, to pay to play, no. Okay. So second of all, they're sending it, but now. This guy goes, oh, we're getting signed, we're getting this, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm a skeptical person. Now I'm reading I'm reading the promoter's website. And you think my pronunciation and my punctuation and everything is bad. There's not even capital letters. <laughs> and it says, we are, when you're a concert promoter, you don't say we are getting things in the works. You wait till it's all done. And you say, we have Jethro Tell, Howie Baldwin, Michael Sacco, Jamie... We have Ricky there. We have PPR in there. And this is the day. This is the stage. This is how much the tickets are. When you see someone say, we're planning this, and we almost got this, and we almost got that, that's a scam. And now mm. what I'm asking is, do you tell that friend they're being scammed? Because that that is going to be the going to be the biggest highlight of his life. Peter, so will you if you're like, his friend, you tell him. I would. But it's like how are we telling me that Ricky's cheating? No, it ain't. No. no, it ain't. no. Kind of, if, she, if he found out. No. All you know. say to him is this sounds like a scam. Yeah, but. Okay. And, and, and well, then you'll get to, oh, you're jealous. And you're out of no, here. you got to be honest, man. you got you to say what you think. I Listen, I like, know. And me and Ricky both read it. We're like, this is real. Well, okay. I, but to go to your point, Howie's got a promoter that's trying to bring him into New Haven. Who's supposed to bring the audience? The promoter. I, I the promoter. Well, I, I would think to a certain point they promote. Right. 
That's what right. their job <laughs> is if they if they are a promoter. My job is to entertain. And your they, job is to get promote, people there. Well, That's right. They, they think that their job is just to book you, and then you have no, to no, be no. promoted. Then, don't, then call, yourself of a booking, booker. call yourself a booking agent yeah. instead of a promoter. Yeah. But they, okay. But they don't. It's like, but you don't, they don't. You, unless you sell a certain number of tickets, <laughs> your, your minimum is. Uh, you, 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 are you gonna drive all the way, I, I'm going to drive from Torrington all the way down to Haven to, to play a 15 minute set, and and not get paid. Oh, you want to hear the biggest yeah. rip off? New York. Your set's a half hour. Yeah. I can't even turn my amp on in 10 minutes. I know. Your set's a half hour. No, no, I'm not driving all the way down there for a 15 minute set. No. If I right. can't if I can't sell twenty five tickets, all I get is a fifteen minute set. As soon as somebody tells I'm me that, I, that. that the that the gig has, requires me to sell tickets, I say fuck you. Yeah. Okay. Look, no. I'm a performer. No. I'm you not a salesman. Finger? And I don't yeah. try to be a salesman. It's arthritic. Yeah, that, that's that's why I told no, him. I, I, I went I, like. Is that, is that a Steve Martin movie? What movie is that? Where no, he was Richard it. Pryor. Hey, wait a second. Pryor's wait a like, second. I went yeah, like this. I know. I'm, but I'm my sorry. mother used to do this. Right? Is, uh, is that Trading uh, Places? My what movie does. is that? There's a Richard Pryor <laughs> movie where he's like that to everybody yeah. because okay, he's so blind. I, like, I think I was about 25 years old and a bunch of my friends were sitting around in the living room and we're talking, right? And my mom's there. Yeah. And she's telling us about this guy who pissed her off on the road and she went like this. <laughs> Index finger. <laughs> God, you Who's number such a and, and, and Everybody said it the same exact time. Who's number one? <laughs> <laughs> and she says, what? And I said, no, 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 Mom, it's this. She says, oh. <laughs> My mother was a little naive. <laughs> Just a little. What woman ain't? Was she hot? Actually, <laughs> yes. Was she? Yeah, not for me. Who but asked her. that of their mother? I don't know. He answered. <laughs> I mean, you're, I, he answered right I mean, away, so don't go get on my case about How do you it. judge if your mom's hot? But I just thought it would be said. funny when, if I said that. Your and tell your you your mom's hot. Yeah. My friends tell me I'm gay. I don't believe it. Well, you should. <laughs> are, you, are you talking about the friends? That's because your you're head? a Cowboys fan. There's a different kind of Ricky gay. Ricky might. <laughs> she believes it. She believes it. I don't want to hear shit about the Cowboys this year. Just shh. <laughs> Well, they got an issue. They're gonna, they they're gonna trade Romo for they a fifth or a sixth round pick. They got an issue, and the guy in ESPN said today, he says, "If you're Jerry Jones, you do not break up that momentum." No, 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 no. Because you leave you're back in. No, no, we're not you're... talking Cowboys. Because... That's a different show. That's hold on, on hold Sunday. On, hold on, That's because... on Sunday. No, we're not, because we're not you're Sunday. because you're Jerry Jones, you fuck up the, that momentum. No. Jerry Jones is the worst general manager in sports history. And he's not the general manager. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> no, he's he's the owner GM. No, he's not. He's got a GM. He is the GM. No, no. He's I got thought he drove a Buick. Yeah, they're just all uh, yes, man. <laughs> yeah. I thought he drove a Buick he's, because what's his he's name? He's got a lot of people that he's through. paying that say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I can't even make a reference. That's why there's our cells left. Jesus. I heard that. I just ignored it. Jesus Christ. Hey, come on. Look. Romo is worth a fifth, sixth, or seventh round pick. Yeah, so is RG3. Would the Browns that's play it. for him? Well, I mean. Yeah, but you don't, you don't mess agency. up that. They got to mess up free agent. Oh, no, no, no. He will. Got RG3 he will. is a free agent. What you're seeing right now still is the same thing that happened 20 years that. ago. But Romo is still on the contract. You got a rookie running back expensive. and a rookie quarterback that are tearing the whole fucking league apart. 20 years ago, I had a hair. Okay, and you're gonna and you're gonna sit either one of them. Either yes, one. they will. Yes, they will. And no, they what? won't. And they'll both no, leave next they season. Won't. I think. That, I think. No, they can't. They're I, under contract for four years. I honestly feel like this is like any given Sunday. Like I feel like someone's telling the the, the guy and <laughs> the uh, you know the, the the medical guy just going, "Romo still hurt. Romo still hurt." Romo still hurt, okay? What no, they did. Just, anyone ask, Romo still hurt. No, they said they're they going to fucking start him after the break. They no, got no, 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 I'm no, telling no, him. No, 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 if no, I have no, any no, sense, like, I mean, think I'll about this. Like, you, I'll guarantee you. I want a doc. Start. All right, let's, let's throw some money on the table right now. No. Oh, no, it's not. How are you? Karen said you have a new song you wanted to sing? What's up? Karen said you had a new song you wanted to sing? Not one of my songs. It's um, it's a cover song. Yeah, do a cover. The one you talked about earlier? Yeah, the one you talked yeah. about earlier. Fucking segways. They're teaching you a bunch of shit. Well, he's trying to get I'm, away. I'm, he, he, I don't want to go on a fucking rant about sports for 30 minutes. Especially <laughs> if it's the Cowboys. Jesus. No, I got to go on a Sundays is enough for me, man. I'm good. 
Sunday is a Sunday oh, show. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, you guys yeah. need to talk it's about a, the uh, Cowboys. Exactly. Yeah, why are we talking about, why can't we talk so, about sports today? There's fucking right. American League Championship I think we should, Series. I, think, I didn't say sports. Right, I have a question, guys. Waffles or pancakes? Mm. Ooh, waffles. Waffles. Waffle waffles. House or waffles. IHOP? You're at a restaurant. Waffle House. You pick the restaurant. Waffles or Waffle cheese. House or IHOP? You hey, if, you're, if you're in Manchester now, check out Cheese they're, Chicken. They're equally as good. You just got to pick what you prefer. It's, uh, on Spruce waffles? Street, it's waffles sure. and chicken. It's the best or shit you're ever going to eat. They're amazing. Those. I guess the best pancakes you've ever had versus the best waffles you ever had. How about my that? My mom's and my dad's. Well, waffles are not my thing because I saw a picture of a blue waffle. Uh, so. Okay, so pancakes. That yeah. answers that question. You ever see a blue waffle? I know Bob's is, doesn't matter as long as it's got maple syrup on it. That's you right. want both? Everybody should How see a blue waffle. Pull it up on the screen. How you want both? Because that, that waffle sandwich. You want both, Bob? Uh, what was it? Oh. Dunkin' Donuts. You want the yeah. drums and the yeah. guitar? I haven't tried that yet. It's I haven't a waffle tried Dunkin' Donuts. It's is their good? version of the uh, McGriddle, but it's got like a Have waffle. Have you ever seen the blue waffle? Clemson Giants are tied. They got made of blue waffles. Like overcooked? Giants and Clemson. made a blue waffle, you need a doctor. Tied 1 1 at the bottom of the third. I've made them blue with blueberry juice. I didn't look. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but blue in your case, I just bumped the Red Sox anything. are already out. Swept. Who fucking Dodgers? Did. Dodgers won six five. Oof. So they got one more, right? Yeah, they got to yeah, play five. Five. Yeah. Okay. Must be nice. That's, That's not a blue one. <laughs> <wild. laughs> it's a song by the Snake Oil Willie Band. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Looks like the Cookie <laughs> Monster. It's a, it's, a, it's a fun song. I'm I'm uh, still in the process of uh, working on it. I mean, I just just. Finished memorizing it today, but I That's it. just oh, in case I got. I don't that. memorize shit anymore. Uh, I've got nobody, CRS. Uh, nobody Google blue waffle. Please don't Google. Oh. Oh, no. That's from eating blue waffle. That's not the skin tape. That's not the skin tag. Oh, that's when you get soap in you. <laughs> All right. So Howie song. Yes. yes let's, let's go, Howie. Howie, let's do it. Howie Baldwin. Howie B Baldwin. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, some cock. <laughs> Five o'clock, some cock. Only on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay if Fridays are uh, down under. Well, my body can use a little swimming. I keep my shirt on when I go swimming. I ain't seen my feet since 1984. The old lady wants Rolling the hay, turn the light down all the way, cause I don't look good naked anymore. <laughs> no, I don't look good naked anymore. I'm a deep fried double white version of the man I was before. Now you're talking. I'm working on this too. If I keep on like I'm doing, I won't fit through the door. And I Well, I used to be a hell of a man. I cut wood with just one hand, but I can't do the things I've done before. Well, it all happened kind of slow. I guess I just let myself go because I don't look good naked anymore. No, I don't look good naked anymore. I'm a deep fried double wide version of the man I was before. If I keep on like I'm doing, I won't fit through the door. And I don't look good naked anymore. With each and every passing year came a lot of french fries and beer and bellies to the floor. But her belly's is as big as a truck, and the old lady, she don't wanna, she Fuck. don't wanna, cause <laughs> I don't look good naked anymore. You can reverse that with me. Well, I don't look good naked anymore. She's a whore. I'm a deep fried double wide version of the man I was before. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. If I keep on like I'm doing, I won't fit through the door, and I don't look good naked anymore. Everybody! Debbie, Debbie. No, I don't look good Debbie. naked anymore. Hey, hey, hey. I'm hey. 
I'm a deep fried double wide version of the man I was before. If I keep on like I'm doing, I won't fit through the door and I don't look good naked anymore. No, I don't look good naked anymore. Bitch hung up on me. I like that one. I'm working I, on that one too. <laughs> I love yeah, it. I got blown, I don't I, look good I, naked. I got, I got blown away for like one Anymore. second there. <laughs> I'd be singing that now. <laughs> when you heard the harmony. Yeah. You just look like a big yeah. fat whore. Did you call me fat? I do oh. believe she said fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the adjective. Karen loves that song. Well, you're not so. a whore. I can't be talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a whore. I take back that whore. comment I made today in the kitchen. You are. <laughs> oh. Oh. Get the bodyguard out here. I'm Krispy Kreme McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's people tw- texting What is wrong with you today? There's people texting me right now, like, oh, my God, why did you make me Google fucking Blue Waffle? <laughs> yeah, dude, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Yeah, we're living through it, too, on this end. Uh, no, it's on this end, too. It's the same fucking yeah, That's what I'm saying. Looking I'm looking oh, at it. Yeah, this like, is John Glenn, but much. Dennis said he's never sitting on this side of the table again. <laughs> yeah. I, it's the first time I sat, <laughs> sat on this side. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Please <laughs> don't <laughs> Google Blue Waffle anymore. Because <laughs> you're going to end up. On your fucking floor. You can <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> wow. Got that disease from being a whore. <laughs> <laughs> and they took some more pictures a... of your <laughs> back Howie. door. <laughs> Howie, I had a feeling that that was the song you yeah. were going to do <laughs> when you mentioned the band. Well, you guys are from the same decade, aren't you? <laughs> no, that, that song was not know. from way back. It no. was relatively recent. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard? <laughs> hey, doesn't mean it doesn't well. Exist. I said, I said, you're not. I know like a few things are. The way I look at that song is like that's a song that some people over thirty can relate to. Yeah, most pe- people over, over 40. forty can relate to, and everybody over fifty can relate to. It. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys aren't even close. Yeah. I, I, no, no, I'm close, man. I, I lost a boner. <laughs> Dude, I was in mid-stroke and looked over and saw myself in the mirror, and, and I absolutely. You got blue and, and I didn't have I didn't have like my ponytail in, so I was doing that 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 really weird, you know, like. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, and uh, I, I just Noah. I disgusted myself. I lost my boner immediately. I was like, God, you have to look uh, at that. That's why I have no mirrors in my house. I'm like a vampire. Yeah. <laughs> I got one in my tub so I can see my unit. Make sure you don't get any soap in your pee hole. Yeah. <laughs> like at this angle, it's impossible. I said, I'll be damned if I never see my penis again. And I brought a mirror. And you put it on the floor <laughs> under the toilet. Yeah. Instead of doing sit-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. It was a good idea, but it just keeps fucking up like Bob's glasses. It keeps breaking. <laughs> <laughs> my balls are too fucking heavy. Oh my God. So he just has this weird maybe silhouette should, of his balls. Yeah. Uh, maybe you should drain them more than once a week, then. <laughs> Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> you know, that's, you know that's, that's, that's that's food for thought, man. <laughs> That'll increase your risk of prostate cancer, I tell him that all the time. <laughs> Dude, I want to put you on a three-time-a-week regimen of sex. <laughs> At least. Th- it, it, it reduces Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, we're going to up We're your... all. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> it reduces your risk of getting prostate cancer. And so. you're going to yeah. come back every... No, I shit enough. I'm not going to have no cancer in that area. Well, no. Uh, well, no I, I shit like no, eight times a day. I'm good. Ejaculating... Frequently yeah, but you should only go two or three <laughs> times a day. No, the doctor says whatever your body does is normal. If your body should three you? times a day, <laughs> that's, a, that's a great doctor. Like whatever doctor. your body does is normal to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is far shit. Yeah, your yeah, foot. Sure. Yeah, yeah, your you foot. You gotta remember hurts. something, okay? They're doctors. They're practicing. So, enough said. Yeah. <laughs> Did they also let you realize that you're special? <laughs> Your doctors. <laughs> he just that's, that's so shut him off. I just got dumped. Wow. Oh, it can't be about you. A little <laughs> sensitive on that one, huh, Uh-oh. buddy? Oh, oh, oh man. No, someone makes bitch. a joke and everybody thinks it's funny and it's not. 
That's when I get upset. <laughs> no, you somebody funny, funny. Make it funny. Everybody makes it, everybody make it thinks funny. it's funny, but you don't. And yeah. that's when you get upset. <laughs> You're just like, you just cut everyone's mic. Nobody's <laughs> laughing, Michael. No, he did that forced laugh. So you guys started laughing because he thought it was funny. Oh, no, no. Like, I, I can say, I Bob, look, look, look at that funny. fly on Bob's head. <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody starts laughing. He's like, I don't want to. I don't have the. I hate the forced jokes. You can't be forced. Sorry. That like was when, not a forced joke, man. Like when Clinton had that fly land in her eye, that was a joke. That oh. was funny. No way, because flies. I thought are that was fake. Shit. I thought that was fake. Everybody I in America did. Bird, Birdie had a, a bird come down on his podium, oh, yeah. and it was really cool. She has a fly land on her. Right in her <laughs> eye. She's a piece of <laughs> shit. Right in her eye. It was the funniest thing. It was like, Ricky, do we have flies in the house already? We thought it was our TV. Everybody in America did. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That was funny. That was real funny. All and right. then Trump grabbed her by the pussy and life was good. Yes. I, I wish he did. That's how they should shake next time. <laughs> no more debates. Hit her with the bowling ball. <laughs> no more debates. It's over. No, there's one more. There has to be. Yeah, there's one more. There's one more? Yeah, yeah. there's one more. Gary Johnson's about to get on so everybody sees what a real fucking American looks I'll like. I'll tell you what. I was watching and that fucking that, that dude from CNN, he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, he is. Yeah. I mean, it's he interrupted Cooper? him so many times. Yeah, Anderson Cooper. He and, interrupted and him the so many times. too. She did too. It's CNN. Bro. CNN is the most fucking skewed like news network. Yeah, in the but world. even oh, oh, Fox isn't. Oh, fo- I fucking no, 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 no. Wait, Fox isn't doing anything this this time around. No, no, no bullshit, just, man. Yeah, they're, they're not. Fox. They're not. Oh, stop. Wasn't, weren't the, wasn't the last debate on Fox? No. We've both oh, been on no, CNN. No. Not, not, the, not the first the one. one. The first one. Yeah. No, this one that was, was on, on, on the Clinton News Network. And the guy was just as much of an Clinton asshole. Clinton News Network. There you go, because the Rothschild. It was just the lady. He attacked everything. I, I was calling it the Clinton News Network back in the 90s. <laughs> Absolutely. It was just the lady the first time. It wasn't no two people. But that, no, no but, but they attacked everything Bush said and didn't attack Clinton once. You mean Trump? Trump. Uh, uh, yeah, everything. Yeah. Okay, argument right. is now defunct. No, you not at all. You can't even get, the, can't even get the characters. Well, hold on, right. hold on, hold on, because it was the same way in the fucking 90s. Everybody yeah, exactly. attacked fucking Bush. How old were you in the 90s, dude? Fucking, I'm born in 79, dude. I fucking lived through that whole bullshit with fucking Clinton and blue dresses and blowjobs. Okay? I was still in my fuck. I was still in school. I was still in fucking middle yeah, of he high learned, school. Yeah, like, he learned that blowjobs isn't sex. Yeah, because yeah. fucking, he, but oh, he could yeah. be impeached oh, for yeah. it. He was impeached. <laughs> right, right. He was impeached why, for a blue job. But, why but is, he was never charged. Why is that even coming up? <laughs> because <laughs> you think she's going to be any better? She couldn't fucking keep her man in line. No, because, oh, stop. Keep the no, because, in line? So because, 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 because she so because she belittled the, the the women that got raped by uh, Clinton by him. Raped. Now he's raping people. He did. Was it the? Did. Oh, he's, yeah. he raped. Uh, he raped. One, 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 uh, she, uh, he, shoved, he shoved a uh, a cigar. I know, but wasn't it the same girl? girl? She blew him. She liked. But it wasn't yeah. sex. Wasn't that the best? Sex. He had no sexual. Con- I had no sexual weird. relations. Dude, but how about the fact that everyone? Dude, 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 dude. Any other woman would divorce her husband if they did. That's, that's, that's not true. That's not true. She didn't know what was going on. That's not true. That doesn't threaten all of them. We're screaming. <laughs> and I don't he did that. the best move by having all them women on the front. I love that. That was great. Chris Rock And had she it right. still had the balls to fucking bring up what he did in the bathroom. The seven chicks your, your husband basically fucking raped are right there. You should shut up. The four. Doesn't matter. You put four. three of them were like 300 pounds apiece. <laughs> the four were right there and... She should shut up. Monica Why bring that but, up? But, that's her, but Trump actually did cheat on his wives. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no difference. Yeah, but the, hey, guy, hey, the guy, the guy, the guy. He's supposed to. <laughs> what, he what saying? It's he a cheated standard. on his wife with his next wife. You're blaming Hillary for what, what her husband did. That's <laughs> insane. But you're not blaming blame. Trump for, no, 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 for no. actually cheating I'm on his ge- wife. I, 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 yeah, that's. I, that's, don't, I have no respect for her because she didn't She didn't leave him. She should have dumped them. She should have dumped them. She should have thrown them. Why? 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 They Why? shouldn't have. No, they shouldn't have fucking dumped. They shouldn't have worked it out. They shouldn't have stayed together. They're no. a political dynamo. They shouldn't have. And they had a kid too. It's not. It's 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 complicated. Like if they wanted to stay together, they wanted to stay together. Like they shouldn't have. They shouldn't have <laughs> bring it out this late in the race. It was bullshit. There's hypocrisy in that. What her husband did. Obviously, yes, it's her husband. He did it, but she stuck with him, and she represents it. And you know what? They're both wrong. But beyond that, she but they're shit, both wrong. She shit all over those women right. and threatened them. Exactly. They're, they're and both wrong. Those right. women. They're bo- Nobody is fit to run the country. I like Trump just because of the way he... Because he loves things. pussy and guns. Who no. doesn't fucking love Trump? I, 
I like him because of the way he talks and the I way like he handles himself. Him. I like that part about him. You I know? like the part that he doesn't say fake shit. He didn't read up a teleprompter. And he, he didn't kill four Americans in Benghazi. And he, he didn't, didn't have to teleprompter to say a lot more Americans than he did. He does not. Hey, he does not. Hey, he doesn't have he to last say. The election. You, talk you guys don't understand. Time. He doesn't have the last say. Even, right. even if he wants to go to war, Congress has to approve it. That's you not true understand. because Obama, uh, Obama went to war against Syria on his own. Obama went and killed fucking because you guys want to believe it. Obama went and killed whoa, Osama. Whoa, 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 whoa. Obama went whoa. and killed Osama bin Laden on his own. No, he no. authorized that. No, that no, yes, no, no. get it right. It started with Bush. Yes, yeah. no, it started it. with Bush. He, Osama was dead with Bush, but, Os- but, Bush but was Obama. Also, let's not forget the Bush ties with uh, Saudi Arabia, which is where Osama bin Laden actually was. Anyways, and which, which is Clinton, let, Clinton, but, the whole Clinton Foundation but, is funded by the but, fucking Saudi Arabia. Anyway, Bush, Bush, relax, Bush said, relax. don't go into Saudi Arabia. Osama bin Laden's not in there. Relax. That's what Bush's administration said. Exactly. Because he was already dead. And he was there the whole relax, time. Relax, yes, relax, relax, everybody. Osama didn't, Obama. Before Osama we go to what we Trump. learned, everybody was worried, was worried about Trump and the fucking buttons. Not at all. Well, don't forget that. about the Cold War. It didn't happen. Just relax. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It doesn't happen. matter. No matter who wins this election, America fucking loses. All right, easy, easy, easy. Let's do what we learn. What'd you learn, man? I learned that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You're a fucker. <laughs> you won't have it, but you can come over here and turn it on. <laughs> no, you True. learned he wasn't a fucker. <laughs> I learned that anybody days. brings up politics or sports around here, everybody just goes on a rampage. And <laughs> I want to go home. Yeah. <laughs> I have the magic button. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, Jamie, uh, I learned that cum doesn't smell good. Uh, I learned that Howie is a fucking awesome artist that does great cover songs, and people should check him out. Howie B. Baldwin. Thank you. Howie B. Baldwin. Yep, yes. that's the only way to find him. No, Howard. Howie B. Music. No, that's in, that's my Facebook page. That's the Facebook page. This is the way you learn. They can they can they can get. Oh, and I learned grab her in the pussy. You had that coming in here. Uh, story of my life. That's how I got fired. <laughs> <laughs> they got to be over 18. Man. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Otherwise, the two fingers don't fit. And not the boss. And not the boss. <laughs> coming up tomorrow night, me, Bob, Ricky, and uh, Michael will be here. And, Hello. Uh, Dennis will be and here. And I still so. have to write a song. Yes, you do. Shit. <laughs> That's it? It's only the four of you guys tomorrow night? Yeah. Oh, can uh, I come no, in tomorrow? Don't too? we have tomorrow? somebody somebody musical? No. No, they they backed out? I'm bringing my harmonica. Everybody. I'm playing wailing tunes with that my harmonica. Week, yeah. I play skin flute, you hum on your oh. harmonica, okay. we're good to go. <laughs> now, no, I, haven't, I haven't been booking a lot of guests because of I don't know what's going on with my job, so. I can see if I can, if I can get the wrestlers in or on tomorrow, see if we can get something. We can do a round table, minute. we're fine. Yeah, yeah no. if you want to come in, come in. Okay. Yeah. okay. The less the merrier. Yeah. yeah, probably, because we don't <laughs> yeah. talk over each other. And Mike's going to be there, right? Mike will oh, be here, Bob will be here, Dennis will be here, Ricky will be here. So Tuesday part two. I put in uh, Craigslist for a producer. Someone answered. They might stop by tomorrow, but we'll see. Cool. Okay. Why are you? So a we producer. Get to, we all get to interview him? Her. Her. Yeah. Oh, nice. that's even better. Producer for this show. Nice. For Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Yeah, and Sunday. Not for the years, for this one. I'm going to be doing my own comedy show. Oh, ah, yeah. He's going to have a show, too. Yeah. So. Excellent. Oh, really? It's going to be it. for comics. Oh, really? Nice. Ah. I want to travel around, check out everybody's acts, go around, build them up, see if we can't build up some momentum for some of the comics. I wish I could start, start to promote that's, some of the open that's where mics. My, that's where my heart is. Start to promote some of the open mics. I wish mm-hmm. I could uh, pr- Whatever. bring I'm back Undiscovered. But that I'm trying to get Amarantes to run a, 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 a comedy club. Uh, open mic. No. What'd you learn? No. Uh, on uh, went on Thursday nights. I'm a loser. What'd you learn? Dennis? Thursday I learned nights be here. that once you go maple, once you go amber with a maple syrup, you can't go back. <laughs> um, amber, light, dark, or pale. Once you go brown, you can't get the other <laughs> shit down. Um, I learned yeah, that. Yeah, I, I know what brown. Is that where we're at? I learned that uh, steel gutters <laughs> are the worst gutters. <laughs> um, and Actually, they're not too bad if you keep them clean. If you uh, right? ever get the opportunity to play a version of Elvis, make sure you play a dead 
version of Elvis in a Christmas movie. Or Christmas that's, show. That's a Christmas, Christmas play, show. man. Christmas play, play. sorry. Christmas play. Because I think it's the best version of Elvis. Ghost of Christmas Pass. I can't wait. I think a dead Elvis I, is the best That sounds like a really good, good part. It's going to be a slice of heaven. Mm. Yes. I'm excited. When all you guys show up, it's going to be the most fun. The lake scene is a kiddie pool. <laughs> oh, my God. With children. Diggity, diggity. I used a crooked <laughs> finger. <laughs> Isn't that sausage? Man? That's not a finger. It's it's like a hunk of freaking right? beef. Behold yeah, the armada. I don't, know, I don't know how I play the guitar with that. I mean, look at it. What the fuck? <laughs> it looks like a fat girl's legs with her feet bowed in. Don't I, bet you, I bet you he can make women squirt with that thing. He can oh, hit spots yeah. that you can't do unless your finger looks like that. He could probably oh, peel Ricky's... Uh, you know what they say, guitarist's finger faster. Wow. No, wow. you're scraping sides, buddy. You're not hurting. You're hurting, you're hurting people. <laughs> Yeah. It's like sticking in a fucking snow scraper in someone's pussy. It's like turning on one of those handheld blenders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. You might as well stick barbed wire and call her Jesus. I hope you put lotion. Holy fuck. I hope you use lotion on those before you insert them. I just wash my hands so you might get some soap in your pussy. Uh, <laughs> my fingers are like Jesus' pr- uh, uh, pricker fucking ornament. <laughs> Don't right use head and shoulders to masturbate. Mm. <laughs> yes, do not use that. Bob, what'd you learn? Well, besides that. Uh, the Rim, Rim Reaper is not here yet. <laughs> yeah, I avoided him again this week. Did you? Yep. Yep. Uh, Howie, I just love his his indie folk vibe, and that that's Thank really you. what it is. So, uh, and it's that's that's a description that are not a not a lot of people want to even think about, but it's a a very strong. Uh, I'm not going to lie down for some frat boy bastard with his damn Tiva sandals and his skull bandits and his Abercrombie and Fitch long-sleeved open-stitch crewneck Henley smoking his sticky buds out of a soda can while watching his favorite downloaded Simpsons episodes every night. <laughs> oh, my God, that was long. Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Did you realize that it was that long? No. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Now I lost my track. <laughs> <laughs> you got to remember something. I've got CRS. I can't remember shit. Oh, I'm the same way. <laughs> I'm the same way. I thought it was crooked retarded. <laughs> crooked knuckle crooked syndrome. Retarded. <laughs> crooked retarded <laughs> knuckle <laughs> <syndrome>. strings. <laughs> Poor Bob can't wipe his ass without tearing a new one. That's right. <laughs> it's like a kill of multiple sclerosis upside down, doesn't it? Like, hey, that's why I'd love oh, <laughs> That <laughs> shit, man. That is, we got to put that up on, on, yeah, on you the should web. Be, Geographic. That's should have be. a billboard for arthritis somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's hey, hands. Hey. Looks like an upside down cowboy, don't it? It does. It does. With his legs spread. and his, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like one of those weird tree branches that They're just grow in weird about directions. My... They're talking about my peace sign. <laughs> it's more like a fucking O. <laughs> it's like a U. We're starting a street gang. It's called the O Boys. <laughs> it's a U. It's but not... there's only one member. Oh, look, it's almost an O. Do it. It's almost an O. Do that again, no. Bob. It's almost an O. Dude, what did you do? Get beat up by a hammer on your hands or something? How does that no, happen? It looks like he went, he went he didn't ball pay. hunting and got his fingers stuck in the ball. Oh, my that's God. actually God. That's Is actually it Vegas? arthritis. That's That's... That's I mean, why I don't work as a professional musician anymore. My fingers just won't do what I want them to do. And they keep doing Oh, you just made me sad, man. Sounds like a, Dude, like you, you just made me so hand. sad. I mean, look, look at this hand. This one's starting to do the same shit. Dude, you have, you have, you have a future in close-up porn. <laughs> just finger, finger insertion finger, porn. That's, yeah, hey. Or just like or a you can just do a I'll tell you what. They're magic fingers. Bob, Bob, you could be a hand model for Depends. I got to tell you, I'm a little attracted to it. Or you could just do like a really creepy play on Broadway. With your hands. That too. If you think his fingers With are hand bad, puppets. You should... yeah. With hand you puppets. You could draw faces on his fingers. If you think his fingers fuck are... You, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! His fingers look like the village with torches going to hunt down yeah. Frankenstein, for God's sake. No, it looks like a garden weasel, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the garden weasel. Nine ninety nine. But wait. Buy one, we'll give you a stainless steel bowls. Absolutely free. But wait, don't want to see my toes. Or your penis. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Or or any other party at this point. Uh, yeah, already, right? We already went over the song about I'm His ugly penis naked. looks like a miracle's leg. Uh, His uh, pubic uh, hair looks like roots to a shitty tree. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Dude, that have been sprayed with like weed. Stuff. Yeah. It's like, oh my god. The soap in this film. This is the worst backdrop to the Lord of the Rings movie. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an old man's pivot here, for God's sakes. <laughs> it's the Frodo, critic's don't choice. Don't run away, Mr. Frodo. Six Frogs has opened up oh a Harry Potter God. fucking music park. They're using Bob's balls. The crabs. <laughs> the crabs. Watch out for the crabs. Oh, yeah, they come. The backdrop. <laughs> they lay eggs in there, you know, Good those one. crabs. Oh, my God. We're having another wedding. We need your balls for a tarp. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What'd you learn, Howie? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I learned, I learned, I learned this guy could give, could give, uh, give Bob a heart attack here. He, he's almost choked to death there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. <laughs> yours. He's just trying to win the Deadpool. You guys are yeah, awesome. yeah, you know, right. I was going to say, I, was like, I got a lot he's of money cheating. right now. Yeah. <laughs> he's cheating. Bob already won it. I, I, well, I, I found out you like blue pancakes, Peter. Waffles. waffles. <laughs> oh, blue waffles. waffles. <laughs> you had to bring that up again, didn't you? Oh, hot. Hot ran <laughs> That's like worse than two girls, one cup. Ah. Like blue waffles. Uh, but there's a lot of cups and waffles. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> to catch the semen and make oh, oh, syrup. Oh. Amber. <laughs> Dark amber, right? Amber <laughs> alert. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had, I had a great time. I learned a lot. I mean, you guys are hilarious. You know. <laughs> there we go. Uh, just You're being to, kind. We were talking about before about uh, how we be Baldwin and how we be music. Yeah. Um, I just want to say, tell, uh, get, get it out there. To, I need 14 more uh, likes to have have 2,000 fans out there on my how on Let's my, do on it. My, get on it my out there. I need get 14 out, more man. people. All right. So more. Facebook slash how we be music. I need 14. Ricky's more. good at that. I need 14 more. Touch my penis and I'll do it. Yeah. And then I'll, if, if to hit, if I want to hit that. I want to hit that two thousand mark. Is there anybody in the room? Just go to your fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah. sure. Come on. Like. What's yeah, it go worth? to your pussy and just <coughs> invite like. What's yeah. it worth to you? <laughs> I've already liked it, so I can't help it. Uh huh. Oh, liked it. So anyway, it was great. I had a great time, guys. Is what is it? How we ball the mud? How we be Baldwin? How, 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 we, no. how we be music? Yeah, how we be. How music. we be music? Yeah, I was at like nineteen eighty six, so I didn't uh, need. Um, you remember 1986? What's that? I said you remember 1986. No, no, no. I said oh. I, I, I was, I had 1986 uh, um, fr- uh, fr- likes, likes on, okay. my, on my fan page. I just liked it. So that's 97. I have no way to like it. Oh, 87. Yeah, 19, I have no avenue 19, to your. Well, when did you go? On Actually, it? you're at 1986 now. No, I forgot my iPad. It's. I don't uh, know. You're at 1986 now. Should be Refresh it. No, I'm at 1988 now. Can I do what I learned? Ah, uh, see, someone else. Did oh, jeez. Can yeah. I? Can I have yeah, a part of this? Can I be a part of the group? Yeah, Richard. <laughs> Richard. Wait, do it in Elvis' voice. <laughs> yeah, man. I just want to say that I learned it, man. Get out in the hall. <laughs> do you like that? I, I learned it. Everybody oh. loves. Everybody loves licorice. Everybody it's it's right. universal. I'm just saying, man. I, I think I think people with vans should. I want to dub children just need more licorice. Uh, like they just need like Twizzlers, like that. That's a universal candy. Oh my it's also a weapon. It's true. You can tie someone down with it if they're young enough. You c- it really well, hurts you when you hit them. people with it. <laughs> with oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, hit me, baby. Oh, you should make, they should make Twizzler I chucks. You were going. Can, can you tie up my can you tie up my my legs with that licorice? Every kid should learn martial arts and know how to use like Twizzler chucks and like <laughs> like uh, what is those Reese's peanut butter cup throwing stars? <laughs> I will, no, never mind. I go ahead. Yeah. All right, go ahead, please. No, I'm done, man. That's what I learned. Then I stepped all over it, but I learned it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Billy. I'm I was sorry. just trying to do a little bit of something. I'm all just yeah, going over. back onto that blue treat- waffle. I know that I'm not going to IHOP again. He treated me like a fire. Why, blueberry what, what, what syrup. Happened? I, I don't like IHOP. That blueberry happened. syrup. <laughs> I feel like they never check the expiration dates on that shit. Because every time I try like an exotic syrup, I do that like. Like vinegary, like yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I, I really didn't learn much except that's that salmonella. I... You don't need IHOP. You have fresh waffles at home. That's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> no blue on that waffle. No blue. <laughs> Just pour it's like an opposite syrup. of a vape. <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> needs a little syrup. Gotta love her. <laughs> Down under. <laughs> Down under. <laughs> Gotta love her. Um, yeah, I, I really didn't learn much except that I love when Howie comes back, and I love having you guys here and. 
What a great week of everything starting, and I also learned that uh, every minute I'm away from Ricky is a bad minute. Aww. Aww. Except all the minutes you could spend in fucking bed. Uh, we're going <laughs> to we're gonna be away from each other for weeks at a time. Why? My job. You look weeks s- at a time? So well, if I go away, yeah. You look distraught. You're going like, away. Oh. I'm going to Costco. What, are you going to be... <laughs> You're going to be on the emergency cruise? Uh, no, no, no. i got to go to training, training in Rhode Island. I'm not driving an hour and a half one way just to fucking come to a show. So, it's so not every week. It's, it's she's just going to have to come up there and give you hand go. jobs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't want to go home to get laid? He doesn't even want to get laid <laughs> when he's home. On Sundays. If he's got, I'm getting oh, a fucking Sunday. food voucher and a free room. Wait, yeah, what if, if, <laughs> what if there's Naples A food Sunday, voucher, Bob. I, I'm sorry. A food voucher. Oh, this my age. <laughs> <laughs> a food. Let me say, it's not the V word you want. It's voucher. Uh, not vagina. Uh, well, food okay. voucher. You see, voucher our, damn near killed her. Our priorities are different. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too much driving, man. That's too much driving. An hour and a half? I don't know. It's three hours a day. Each way. <laughs> I don't care. It's it was to like fuck two hours. her. Like, yeah, what? Almost two hey, hours. He's not as old as you. I, dr- I drove to Providence to do a two-hour show. On a unicycle. That's where it is. In P-Town. <laughs> That's where I have to go. Remember where we went? That's yeah. back when he That's lived in a shoebox. I would do that to go home and get laid. Because you're dying. I'm, I'm okay. No, I'm, I'm not dying. <laughs> Did you not hear him say food voucher? Voucher. <laughs> that would get her up there. Are you kidding? Hey, man, that means face She's the first one to sell that Colin Corral article. Yeah. <laughs> the reason he can't see his penis, Trump's using his penis. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you guys should do? You, should, you, guys should, you guys should find a Golden Corral that's halfway <laughs> and fucking it. <laughs> True, very true. <laughs> I would fuck her at a golden crown. Yeah, just find oh. one in the middle. <laughs> Me in the middle. Everything's then. greasy. You never have to worry about fucking lube and head and shoulders again. I don't right have to worry about lube. Bar. I don't have to worry about lube trust. <laughs> she's when she when she's she, ready. Yeah, when she's ready. She's, she's always wet. ready. You're the one that's not. That's what we're getting at. But but she's got if a point though. Popsicle sticks, You'll never get caught up. at hey. the salad bar <laughs> at Golden Corral. That's, Pete will never be. That's like, why I keep Niagara spray <laughs> starch in the car. Niagara. <laughs> Niagara spray starch in there the car. Go. All right, everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget the podcast if you missed the show. We'll see you uh, guys tomorrow at seven o'clock. And as we said, every show, everybody, stay black, y'all. Stay black, stay black y'all. Black, y'all. Mixtape Saturday. Mixta- oh, yeah, Mixtape oh, yeah, Saturday. Mixtape Saturday. Saturday. Don't forget yeah. Mixtape. the reason why I'm here. Very, very, very good turnout this week, too. I was surprised. No, uh, don't be. It's me. Let's very, go. Very, very surprised. We didn't have anything new this week. It doesn't have to be new for it to be fucking awesome. All right, everybody. Thank you, and uh, be safe. We'll see you tomorrow night. Peace. Oh, yeah. <laughs>